kids, you have to remember, I'm up here conducting you for a reason. Okay, watch me. Watch my fingers. Here we go. Ready? Watch me. One, two, three. The slobbering apparitions that they've come to wake up Here I am composing a burlesque Out of where they rest their necks Soaking in their splintered cradles And ramshackle reds They ask for it As a girl, you have set your heart Welcome, welcome to the Saturday stream. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully you're having a good one. I know I am. I'm having a pretty decent day. Elbow brap. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like that song. That was Nearly Witches, or Ever Since We Met. By Panic at the Disco from the album Vices and Virtues, which I must say is one of my 
favorite albums they've ever made. Pretty Odd and Vices and Virtues are like neck and neck for my favorite Panic at the Disco album, I must say. But Vices and Virtues has, like, the songs are equally just as great. But, I don't know, Pretty Odd still holds a really good place in my heart. When I think of The Fall, I think of Pretty Odd. It's just, uh, such a great album. Pretty Odd is. It's just, uh, such a great album. So yeah, everything's been going pretty decent today. We're gonna be playing some Animal Crossing and gonna chill, have a fun time. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Go into the basic setup, refresh in the chat. Really wish I didn't have to do that all the time. But, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do what you don't wanna. Alright. Let's talk about Road Dogs! Road Dogs is a charity that we've been supporting for a long time, and I do recommend that you guys donate at least $5 to Road Dogs today. This charity helps dogs that are either in the meat trade in China, needing, like, they're in shelters and they need a home, or they have skin diseases, or maybe they're handicapped. Please, it is our job as menaces to help these bubbies out. We need to help them, and the only way we can is by donating. Or, if you, if you really do have a big heart, a really big spot in your heart, you can adopt one of these beautiful little babies. Look at these little gizmos, stinky. Look at these babies. They're so sweet. And you want one of these little bubbies to snuggle with you all day? I bet you do. But please, again, head on down to the link in the description and donate to Save Lives Now, Operation Bullpug, or Frank's Fund. It doesn't matter which one you donate to, they're all equally great, but if I had to recommend which one to donate to, it'd be Save Lives Now. This is the most important one, hence why it's at the top. This one gives, like, elderly, elderly dogs and special needs dogs things that they need right then. We're talking medicine, shampoo, food... Clothes for the winter times, uh, beds, anything you can think of. Toys, you know, they need they need their piggies and they need their bones, of course. Of their bones, donate five dollars. Make sure that you can keep these dogs alive and happy, so they can share their love with the whole world. Again, the link is in the description. Donate now. Let's talk about Tear Bear Printing. Tear Bear Printing has been supporting us for a long time, and we give them back the same amount of support. If you want to get 10% off your first shirt, you can choose out of these seven, you can use code MENACE at checkout for 10% off. Now, that's code M-E-N-A-C-E, all caps, for 10% off your first shirt. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to buy a shirt. They have all kinds of stuff here. Hoodies, tote bags, you know, the stuff. Again, use code MENACE at checkout for your first shirts, 10% off. I remember, remember, it's code M E N A C E, all cats. Uh, all caps, not all cats. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I fucked it up. All cats. <laughs> all right, let's talk about my merch. My merch right here. Uh, gifts by artists, stuff by you. Stock up on stocking sized masterpieces. We're talking about paintings here. You can get a certain percent off, I, I'm guessing it's 20, I want to say 20% off, any kind of art print. So let's say you really, really wanted to get a print of Menace's Hope. I mean, I can't blame you. It's a really lovely piece. You could go on down here, go to the, uh, let's see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. The canvas mounted print. This right here. And get this mounted on your wall and remember that i'm always watching always knowing always watching you'll never escape so yeah go ahead place your order everything would be a-okay if you did and that's all of our sponsors for today oh and remember spooky menace is going away by the end of november <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave, you were close. You were close, Dave, but not close enough. 
Look at this! I did a thing. Isn't that neat? I did a thing. Hold on. Alright. Roll, yes. Right. I'm gonna get some music. Let me go look up some low pop or lo fi hip hop. Let's see. Lo fi hip hop. Or how about lo fi animal crossing? Sounds nice. Alright, can you guys hear this pretty good? Hopefully you guys can hear it good. Let me know, let me know. Is it overpowering me? Let me know. Well, fine, let me pick something else then if you don't like lo fi. Here, here's the full edit. There we go. I will do the OST. Hello there, everyone! Right now on Redwood, it is 6.07 p.m. on a Saturday, November 14th, 2020. Hmm, there isn't really much any news today. Say, did someone else catch that concert on TV last night? My favorite band was one of the acts, and their music is still stuck in my head. Oh dear. There I go again, prattling on about my personal TV habits. Sorry, folks. That's all for today. Have fun! Have a fun day out there. I miss Tom Nook. <laughs> I wish Tom Nook was still doing the announcements. Alright, so, uh... A lot of stuff has happened since the last time we played Animal Crossing. <laughs> Hello, Sylvia. Alright, so uh, let me give you the tour. There's my uh, my yard signs, of course. We got Biden-Harris 2020, Black Lives Matter, and LGBTQ. Ooh, look at that. Also, you like my little outfit? I call it the Fall Boy. Let's check the mail. Oh, a message from my mother? Huh. <laughs> the bell oh nice I'm doing okay how about you mom's reliable kitchen mat <gasps> alright we got a new Nintendo switch as well what's this oh, two Taylor tickets alright All right, so I'm gonna give you guys the tour. I now have the fully, the full fucking house. Look at that. I have a Panic at the Disco album cover on the wall over here, a Bob Ross painting right here. We have a picture of Igron on the wall, and we have our town flag and a whooper. I know, everything is fantastic looking, isn't it? Let's go in the bathroom. This is my lovely bathroom. As you can tell, I have a hot tub inside, as well as a swimming pool. I'm gonna give you guys some more turns. 
I think I did a really good job modeling this bathroom. Still don't have a toilet though, but we have a bidet, so I guess that counts. We have a scale. Everything's nice. All right, now I'm going to show you the kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. I have quite a bit of stuff in here. I have an espresso machine and a coffee grinder now. And I also have a protein shake. It's my uh, it's my G fuel over here. Look at that. It's the G fuel. Gotta have my G Fuel. Now, let me show you my rumpus room, or should we call it the reference room. The reference room is gonna be filled with stuff that you guys suggest. So this is a few things I have in here. We have the Mona Lisa, of course. It's a JoJo reference. We have the Etika E, because rest in peace, my homie. He gave me an eternal uh, inward paths, but uh, I use it very sparingly, but I do have an internal one or eternal I also have Chris Chan right here uh, Joe Taro from Jojo part 3 uh, The Jojo part colors right here. You can actually get that as a real poster and I really want one uh, Yeah, so this is the rumpus room. There's absolutely nothing on the other sides I chose this wallpaper because it reminded me of Jojo part 3 and that's pretty much it for that. <laughs> so if you guys have any more references you think that we could put in the rumpus room, please let me know. I mean, of course, I'm going to... I should probably fill... I should probably put a Ganucci in there, shouldn't I? I think I should. All right, so now we're going to go upstairs to my bedroom. And I know you guys are going to love my bedroom because this is where the magic happens. Up here is the bedroom. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of instruments right over here. I got this little thing. Look at that. There's a Ganucci, and there's a sea pig, also a Ganucci. Did you know that sea pigs and uh, sea cucumbers are actually part of the same genus? So I didn't know that until the other day. Uh, sea pigs are actually a sea cucumber, so technically, sea pigs are Ganucci's. We have all kinds of little friends here, a koi fish, an umbrella octopus, and of course our lovely lionfish. His name is Kevin, I believe. We have a kiwi on the wall, Black Lives Matter, of course. We have my lovely Amber up on top of the thing. We have a Rorschach painting. We have Gus. We have my- oh. Vesta. We have Vesta, of, of course. Of course, we have Vesta, yeah. Which reminds me, I should probably put on my outfit for the basement. I don't really show a lot of people the basement. The basement is where I... Hey, I'll show you. I'll show you my basement. <laughs> I know you really want to see it. So, I'll go ahead and show you. I'm going to show you the basement. Let me show you my basement. Tear the roots up from the floor. Board and tar against the door. When the lung fills up with straw, cut the wire from the jaw. Murder be thy name, out, out, murder be thy name, murder be thy name. When the spine begins to twist, bind the irons to the wrist. When the gamblers spin and thrash, whip them right inside the ass. This is my... Basement. I am going to bring back Vesta. I am going to summon her to my island. We have the mark of the Holy Eye. The Eye of Modor is watching. We 
bring her back. We will have Vesta. The mushrooms, they give me power. Power to bring her back. Anyway! <laughs> Let me change out of these silly clothes. You're probably wondering, what the hell all that was? Well, I don't even know myself, to be honest. But I'm gonna show you all my outfits. This is Fall Bup. I like Fall Bup right now, because of course it's fall. <laughs> uh, this is Rebel. This is my hipster out outfit, you know, you know? You gotta be a hipster, you gotta be hip and cool when you're the island residential service person. This is cowboy, baby! Of course, you gotta be a cowboy. Everyone hands out cowboy hats here. It's so fucking weird, isn't it? Uh, so we also have winter. Boom! <laughs> nice, cozy outfit, right? We also have one. It was supposed to be a Rorschach cosplay, but I, uh, I really fucked it up. Uh, we also have Menace, of course, my classic outfit from the beginning of the series. So yeah, which one's your favorite? My personal favorite is Fall Bup, which is what I'm going to be wearing today. But I guess I could also show you the rest of the stuff I have. Naked Boy. Alright, let's go in the kitchen and change our clothes, because of course I keep clothes in the refrigerator. Menace, you forgot to show us the masturbation room, unless it's the basement. Now listen, listen, listen. My relationship with Vesta is not a sexual one. It is nothing more than a purist of friendships. Keep your smut out of your head. Let's get changed. Alright, I wanted to show off some of my outfits. We have the sneaky doctor. <laughs> We have the noble coat. We have two of the same shirt because I forgot I had this one and I thought I gave it away, but I'm just probably going to give it away today. I don't know. Um, we have the simple parka. I found these. I really like them, but I don't know what to do with them. I have a thief outfit for some fucking reason. I have a pharaoh's outfit and a pharaoh hat as well, so... I mean, if I really wanted to cosplay as a pharaoh, I, I probably could. I have a golden shit hat. <laughs> of course, you gotta wear your sunnies. Your snazzy sunnies. And your 3D glasses when you're heading out, you know? Wingtip shoes. Really sexy. But again, I'm not wearing all that shit. I'm wearing fall buck. I have all kinds of designs as well. I should probably show those off. Yeah, uh, we have Vesta. <laughs> we have, um, oh, oh, Karst oh, Muck. Uh, oh, fuck. Alright. I have a, a Chloe outfit from Life is Strange. I have a Vine Sauce hat and shirt. I have a Creeper shirt now. I have this really neat rune shirt, a PewDiePie hoodie, a good mythical morning hat. All kinds of neat little designs. This hat's really silly. Oh. I'll show it later. <laughs> How do I close this off? I'm surprised you haven't done a package reviewer outfit. Well, why would I do that? <laughs> no! No! I need- No! Fuck! <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> I need to have my outfit, damn it. <laughs> All right, now. Clear favorite. Put away. All right. Let's go do our daily chores. <laughs> we got to find all the shit we got to do. All right, so this right here is an experiment. I'm trying to get ants, okay? So don't, don't, don't do this, okay? Just don't, no one touch my shit. 
All right, that is an experiment. Don't touch my shit. Holy shit, <laughs> a phone. I can uh, find out some Freddy's, hello. <laughs> Yes, I need this. Can you make a scrub daddy design? Yeah, I can. Squat toilet. <laughs> yes. I can shit like a perfect little Vietnamese boy. Well, that's what you got in the cabinet today, guys. Eh. Can't say I'm that impressed. Can't say I'm that impressed, guys. Eh. Let's go see what the Sable Sisters have. Last time we were here, in the last part, in the last stream we played this, uh, we had just unlocked them. So, uh, I, I put them in a different... Oh, what is it? Hey, you want more reactions? You got it. Check this out. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, let's go check out the Sable Sisters. I moved them over here and I moved my... Uh, moved my museum over there. Oh, fuck. Uh... Maybe I'll talk to... I like talking to her. She makes me happy. You want to see more... <laughs> you... Wait! Fuck! Fine. All right. Hmm. That's a nice shirt. Okay. Frugal hat. I got the crazy hair. Hmm. Oh, I can be a furry. <laughs> uh, come on, you know that's exactly what people buy those for. The reason why I joined the stream is because Slayer Coon wasn't doing a live stream today. Alright. Thank you, I guess, for telling me that I, I'm your second choice. Kind of... I don't know, man, that's kind of... Okay, whatever. <laughs> the person I wanted to watch wasn't streaming, so I decided I'd watch you today. <laughs> I guess that's like a weird backwards-handed compliment, but uh, okay. Mac and cheese lover number one. Oh god, is that a Brett Keen reference? Please tell me mac and cheese. Oh, you know mac and cheese situation. It's a mac and cheese situation. Okay, this is another experiment I'm doing. Just, again, I know, it, it looks awful, but I'm doing an experiment. Just let me, let me experiment, okay? How did I miss that? Elect man, I'm glad you're very enthusiastic about the daddies.
Who's my favorite villain? Vesta, of course. Here, do I need to prove my loyalty to Vesta? I will. Vesta Simp! <laughs> there. Is this good enough for you? Does this tell you who my favorite villager is? I think it would. <laughs> I'd give her all my money. I am Vesta's simp. I am Vesta's biggest simp. One of these days, I'm gonna get her. One of these days. She will be mine. Why the fuck is this not growing? I'm just gonna fucking sell it. Pissing me off. Oh yeah, we got a lighthouse now. Nice, right? Yeah, the mushrooms have kind of taken over, really. Like, I don't know, man. I think they're neat, but I don't know, man. Man, I wonder why these mushrooms are just everywhere, man. I mean, at least they're not like white caps or something, you know? Yeah, I can't wait for the snow either, man. I, I'm, I'm so excited. Okay, that was a centipede that just crawled out, but I don't even need it. Last centipede, you're gonna fall off. You're gonna fall off, man. All right, centipede gone. Oh yeah, I made another beehive. I have this now over here. Look at it, isn't it beautiful? So interesting. I'm collecting these. We have a new bridge as well. It connects uh, this part of the island. We had snow a few weeks ago. God, I'm jealous. Here in Arkansas, we don't really get snow until maybe January or February. I made a video about it long ago. Still pissed. By the way, still pissed that Arkansas doesn't get snow, but, you know, global warming. Oh, yeah, I did this as well. So, whoever wants to come to my island and have a sit, you can. You have a whole variety of places to sit. I know people who are just like, ugh, snow is shit, you know, snow is shit, you can take mine. That's what people always say when I say that I love the snow. I just love the atmosphere that it brings. These are holly bushes, by the way. I planted them all around this little area that I'm going to be calling the campsite. Until I actually get a campsite. So, there's that. You're not really affected by the snow. Yeah, I feel you. God. It doesn't end until April. That's fucking epic. Oh yeah, look over here. So this is the campground. Everything's nice and chill, you know? Just, uh... Take a seat right here. You can take a dip in the hot spring. Hang your clothes up. Go for a skinny dip in the hot spring. Look at this. Did you know that you can't have a bridge over these little tiny things? Really kind of made me mad, but uh, I remembered that you can do this. But I guess there really isn't one.
Another centipede. He's, these things are just active tonight. I don't need them. He can just wander off. I don't care. He's mad that I pissed. I pissed him off. You know, I ruined his house. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to grab that. Oh well. Yeah, I also love that feeling. Whenever it's winter time, I like to just. I know this is gonna sound cringy, but I like to watch Minecraft Let's Plays from 2011. They just bring me a weird sense of nostalgia. But it has to be a very specific Minecraft Let's Player, uh, Edit ZP. He just recently came back to YouTube after his mother died from lupus. And it was a horrible, horrible thing to hear. You know, my heart goes out to him and his family. Look at that. This is how we uh, communicate with other islands. As you know, you have to have some form of communication. But up here also is Big Papa Bear's Pond. You know, he likes to go fishing, you know. Have you been to Little Rock? Dude, I live in North Little Rock. Like, legit. Look at that. He's just looking at all the fish, dude. Just vibing. This is the pumpkin patch, by the way. I wonder when these are gonna die off. Do they die off? Is that a thing that happens? I, I keep thinking this game's kind of like Stardew Valley every once in a while. I'm like, oh no, they're gonna die off. Have you been to Fort Smith? I don't remember if I have. Probably. I have not been to Fayetteville. Wait, I've been there once. I've been to Conway, been to Maumelle, been to Mayflower, of course. Mayflower is just filled with a lot of druggies, dude. I, a lot of crack in Mayflower. No, I've never been there. Oh, hey, mac and cheese lover, subscribe. Thank you, man. Ash down. No. I usually don't really leave the comfort of Little Rock, North Little Rock. Um, sometimes, uh, Cersei? Alright, we're gonna start the uh, tree shaking process now. I don't even know if these are big enough yet. They don't even look big enough. Have you ever been outside of Arkansas? Yeah, I've been to Texas and I've been to Branson, Missouri, but I've never really been anywhere else besides those two. I'd love to go to Oregon. If there's one place that I could live, it'd probably be in Seattle. That would be such a nice place to live. Well, not right now because, you know, it was on fire and shit, but you know how it be. Another place I would like to live is Ontario, Canada. I'd love to live in Canada. I just think that their culture is just so neat. Oh, we have another... Okay. And I got them all. Or maybe Australia. Or New Zealand. Australia, maybe. The only way I'd go to Australia is if I had a bodyguard with me to kill any fucking... Huntsman spiders. Jesus Christ, those things are so big. About the size of a dinner plate, dude. Ugh. It's freaky. Now, I I'm not really scared of spiders, but if a fucking hunts huntsman spider jumped on my face, you know goddamn well I'm gonna shit my pants. Oh, 
Probably Portland. Portland or Seattle. I really... I just want to live in Seattle, honestly. I want to see the Space Needle. All that stuff. One of these days, I just want to get an RV and just... Go riding, you know? Just go explore the world. That'd be so nice, but... It's an infeasible thing to do on a, uh... On a budget that I have. Which is none. No money at all. New York is meh. Yeah, but they have a Pokemon Center there. I can get Pokemon cards. That's... Uh, which, by the way, we'll, we'll be getting some Pokemon cards pretty soon. I'm going to order a uh, Charizard Champions Path uh, Trainer Elite Box. Uh, I already have it. Uh, <laughs> I already have it on reserve at GameStop because they know me. It's bad when the people at GameStop know your name, but they know me, and I'm gonna be ordering that soon. It has a whole bunch of really sh like stuff in there. Which place in Washington is better, Seattle or Spokane? Wait, is Seattle in Washington or Oregon? Am I retarded? Have I been saying that the whole time? Damn, you just outed me right now, man. Have I been saying that the whole time? If I have, I'm sorry for the misinformation. <laughs> uh, my bad, my bad. Everyone makes mistakes. I do want to live in Oregon, though. I think. Wait. You think Seattle's in California? No. Menace, what's the worst experience you've had with an insect? Alright, I'm gonna tell you a story that's very horror movie-esque. When I was a little kid, I'd say that I was maybe six or seven. I was taking a bath. You know, just having a fun time. I was playing with a dinosaur in the bathtub. Uh, it was a red dinosaur. Hold on, maybe I can get a picture of it. Let me see if I can find... Uh... Let me see... What is it? It was one of those ones that is very... Very weird looking. It was a really old one. It was kind of like a Triceratops, but it had like spikes on the back of its head and one on its nose. I can't remember what that dinosaur is called, but it was like in the Triceratops family. But I'll just I'll use this picture because it's like the same uh, bullshit, you know. Uh, this, this right here. Uh, I I let's just say it was this, but imagine this, but it has bigger spikes instead of this little thing here I cannot from life me remember what the fuck that dinosaur is called. but anyway i was playing with it in the bathtub and uh i was just having a good time ow fuck no there, there's a, there's more to this story fuck okay uh, ignore the bathtub story ignore the bathtub story but this it'll come into play later all right so this this is the prequel to the bathtub story so one day I was out in the backyard, again, I was either six or seven, and I, I like to lift up rocks that were in the backyard and find bugs, like worms and stuff, and slugs, because I like to play with them, and I like to just examine bugs, you know? I like to have a fun time. And one time, I was lifting up a rock, and this red spider was just there. It, it was just so weird. I I just remember... It was just this red fuzzy spider. 
It just sat there. I was like, ah! So I, I, I got on top of the rock, right? I just jumped and jumped and jumped. I jumped on top of the rock, and I, I thought the spider was dead. I thought it was dead. And then, you know, I'm taking the bath. I had the triceratops. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just playing. I look in the floor, and there's that spider. That same spider is in my floor. And I'm thinking, it's a zombie. It's a zombie spider, of course. It is here to get me and kill me, this zombie spider. So I grabbed the Triceratops toy, and I just smashed the fuck out of it. Just smashed the absolute shit out of this little red spider. It was fuzzy and little. It looked kind of like this. It looked kind of like this. This is all my memory can remember is it was red and fuzzy it was red and fuzzy that's all i remember probably looked more like uh maybe not that because that's australian but it was red and fuzzy that's all i can remember anyway it scared the shit out of me and uh i never touched that triceratops again <laughs> Because I had, I, you know, my brain had associated it with a horrible memory. And it was just so, it was just so shitty. I still don't know how it got out from under that rock. Mama Panda. Huh. It's you. Bagworm. All right. Boom! I'm not getting stung today. The power of Vestav compels me. I need to sell some shit. How's life in Arkansas? Boring. Arkansas is the natural state, so... If you don't want to go to any parks or anything, and you just want to just chill at your house, there's not really a lot. Plus, rent here is just fucking stupid. Honestly, you can probably find a better rentable house in Texas than Arkansas. Arkansas is one of these flyover states. It's a vacation place. Places that you can go like Pinnacle, or maybe even uh, Conway. But other than that, nothing else. It's kind of shitty. How much you bet it's only one fucking fossil? Ugh. Hey, this is the shitty part about the later stages. Yeah, oh, it's two. What were the other ones? What were the other ones? Let's see. Alright. Have you been to Bigelow? No. All right, well, let's go see if we've completed anything since we've uh, last been here. What was your first experience as an adult? Hmm. Oh, wait. What was your first experience with Adult Swim? 
Okay, I, I guess that's easier to answer. Uh, my first experience with Adult Swim was when I was, I believe, four or five years old. I loved watching Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> as you know, my mother was like, uh, no, you're not watching that anymore. And she put a V chip on my TV. Well, one day I figured out what the password was. And I started watching a more Aqua Teen Hunger Force and uh, Family Guy. And that was the end of that. <laughs> what city did I visit? Um, I think it was Dallas. Definitely Dallas. That's a tough one. I've never been to Arlington. You have another streamer that you watch and he occasionally streams and he did the exact same thing. Think about what? Maybe West Virginia. Maybe. West Virginia sounds like an interesting place to go. So I got a lot of shit to sell. It did the same exact thing for Adult Swim. Yeah. Let me sell that. Oh wow, really? That's interesting. Alright, I'm gonna put this in here. Put this in here, because that's definitely going in the kitchen. Cordless phone. Squat toilet. Put this in here, put this in here. Do you even know what Showbiz Pizza Place is? Dude, I'm 22, of course I do. I know what Showbiz Pizza Place is. That was the thing that was before um, the fucking Chuck E. Cheese. How dare you doubt my, <laughs> my bullshit. When it bought out by Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, I've been to Chuck E. Cheese a couple of times, like a lot of times in my life, really. <sighs> Menace has never been to Fazbear Pizza Real. Yeah, I haven't. Two switches. I'll, I'll put the bear in here. Why not? Nice little bear. It'll protect me. Kind of looks like Gus, so I'll put the bear there. Hold on, I'm gonna readjust. That way I can get comfortable. Readjusting time. Ah, uh, much better. A lot more comfortable. Do you listen to Jack Stabber at all? Uh, yeah, or Stabber. Yeah, I do. 
I like him. I watched his uh, latest thing, Opal. I thought it was very interesting. I really liked it. Hmm, I don't know if this mat goes with my whole aesthetic of this kitchen. I don't know. Jeez, I don't know. You call the you call Chuck E. Cheese the rat place? That's silly. Hmm. Rat Palace. Alice. Gotcha. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Hey, you know I'd be sometimes. The pushing, the pushing king. How you doing? How you doing, my man? Everything's nice and chill. Everything's nice and good. What else we got in here? Oh yeah, the squat toilet. We gotta drop it off in the bathroom. It's Pusheen. Pusheen. My bad. Pusheen. Pusheen. <laughs> Did you know that Chuck E. Cheese fetish art exists? Yeah. Number 15. The rat place, <laughs> the rat palace, and that's where I ate sewer rats. Alright, I think we need to change outfits. I'm tired of being a simp. Number 15, Menace screams at the live chat. If you watch Menace's streams, eventually he'll scream at you. Ganucci bitch! <laughs> you never saw it coming. Did you know that if you play on Scratch.com, you only have one year to live? Did you know that you're a stinky penis? Did you know? Did you know? Crash Bandicoot was designed after a carrot in the year 1935. Did you know? Spyro the Hedgehog was actually not created, and it's not even real. Did you know? I'm watching you right now. You're not watching me, I'm watching you. I'm watching you right now. I'm watching you right now. I'm watching you right now. Did you know? The fall is not even actually a season. It's technically just a sequel to winter. Did you know? Many crickets commit suicide because they have a parasite inside of their ass that then burrows out of their ass. It looks like hair.
What we get? What we get? What we get? A cherry dress. Oh yeah, because you know I just I just absolutely love to wear dresses. Like oh my god. God forbid. I actually get some cool fucking clothes. Oh yeah. I made it mossy. Let me get rid of this. You got a dis we gotta have a dislike? Oh man. Someone who just someone just don't like me, huh? Oh well, sucks to suck. <laughs> get fucked. Uh, I guess this is the only amount of bamboo I'm gonna get. Oh hey, it's cat. She just fishing. You know what? I'm gonna go fishing. Jama Sam, yeah. Remember Reader Rabbit? I played Reader Rabbit. I, I the only thing I remember from Reader Rabbit is mm, molded milk, macaroni. <laughs> That's all I remember. Legit. That's all I remember. Can you fish for UGF? You can fish for UGF. Oh man. I think it would have been funny if you if you, you know, didn't fuck up your grammar there, Pushin King. The words you're looking for is your or fish for a GF. So many fish in the sea and I'm fishing for love. So many fish in the sea and why don't you go for a swim? Find a pretty girl and bring her back home. Don't know where she is or where she might roam. Oh, I don't have one. Oh. It's okay. It's COVID-19. You don't need a bitch. Else get you sick. Boom. Boom. I fucked up on that one. Is it gonna come? Is it gonna come? <laughs> come on! Alright, alright. Like your last relationship? What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck just happened? What's the most underrated show on Adult Swim? <sighs> Drinky Crow Show or Moral Oral. A lot of people just don't like those. Or even Mary Shelley's Frankenhole. I don't really see a lot of people talking about that show. I like that show. What's the most obscure cartoon in your opinion? Ooh. Mmm. Oh, I have quite a few. Just give me a minute. 
I gotta think about it. I think. Maybe, um, the secret show, the secret show was really fucking obscure. You can't even find hardly any episodes of it. So yeah, I would say the secret show. I loved that show. It made me laugh so hard. I remember the one time where they, there was an episode about a guy who collected his boogers and put them into one giant ball. And there were two versions of that episode. Um, it was uh, one where they said booger and one where they said bogey. And it was so weird. Like, were there parents who complained that they called it a booger? I, I never understood that. I always wondered. You know? That's just things you think about. Maybe it's just me. Where did the secret show air? Uh, it aired on, uh, it aired on Nicktoons Network back in the day. One of my favorite things, Nicktoons Network was just the best fucking station. Like, they had a film festival each summer. They had, like, all these really cool pilot episodes that they ran. You had Oh Yeah Cartoons. Oh my god. It was so fucking good. Don't even forget the three-headed monster block. The Friday, Saturday, and Sunday monster. Ugh. Or was it Thursday, Friday, and Saturday? I don't remember. But it was like it was like King Ghidorah, but it was like like a scrapbook. Oh, it was so fucking neat. The three-headed monster block. Hold on. I'm gonna show you. Let me show you guys the three-headed monster block. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it on YouTube. I wonder if there's like a video of it. Here? Do they have any footage of it on YouTube? Uh... Come on, it has to be here somewhere. Oh, fuck, here it is. All right, here it is. Okay, this, this, all right? This right here. Neptune's network is gonna make your day today. Today is the same. Attention, attention! We interrupt this program to bring you a special announcement. Nicktoons Network is being taken over by what appears to be a three-headed monster. For more on the scene, let's go over to our On the Street reporter, Chaim Chutney. Well, that's right, Brock. I'm a bit more concerned with this guy with the clamshell head, but that's just me. The monster, though, has busted into the Nicktoons Network studio and he's demanding programming control for every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. Ravaging with told his hard work, so he needs the other days of the week to rest up. Welcome to the three-headed monster. Big up the masses! <laughs> Crash oh yeah, and Kablam. Uh, why is Kablam on here? <laughs> anyway, that was the three-headed monster block. I uh, I loved that. Uh, let me see if I can get a better image of it. There has to be a render of it somewhere that they put up, right? Oh yeah, and it also had its own TV show at one point, and that's what they redesigned it to. And I hated it. I hated it. it made me so mad. Because there was some, there, it was a neat design. It, it was like a scrapbook. You know, like it was like a scrapbook. Oh, and Kappa Mikey, of course. I fucking loved Kappa Mikey, okay? <laughs> I hate the three headed monster. Corneal and Bernie! Oh, fuck! 
Corneal and Bernie. Yeah, I would have been seven when the three-headed monster block came out. And when they updated it, I was nine. God. Ugh. Nostalgia Blast! God, the worldwide day of play. That shit would piss me off so bad. I'm like, well, I guess I'm just not gonna watch any Nickelodeon shows. I'm going to Cartoon Network. <laughs> I mean, sure, I'd go outside and play, but at the same time, I, I wanted to watch cartoons. That's the whole reason why I turned on the TV. You know? That's just how shit be. I'm so glad that we're able to stream stuff now. Kids don't even have to worry about that shit anymore. The idea of a TV channel that's completely going off air. Just in just having a, uh, it's the, it's the worldwide day of play. So get out there and go play. I'm so glad that kids nowadays don't have to, eh, fuck shit. I, what the fuck was that? I just hiccuped. All right. So yeah, I always thought yeah, Nickelodeon was broken, but I I knew it was like their thing because they would often they would oftentimes tell you a day beforehand or even the week beforehand, hey, what the fuck is this? I need four acorns and hard wood. What the fuck is that? I'm going to make it right the fuck now. Can we see a commercial for the worldwide day of play. I don't know. I just want to play Animal Crossing. Maybe in a minute. Do I have any more acorns? Oh, I can make it! Let's make him... Yes. Let's make him... Oh, look at him! <laughs> Traditional balancing toy. Yes. I need him. Maybe customized? I wonder, can he be customized? No. Damn. I wanna see what he does. What did he do? What'd he do? Remember Nick at night? For real though, all right, so my name is Nick, like legit, my name is Nick. And when I was a kid, people used to uh, kind of bully me. They would go, Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. One time some uh, little black girl ran up to me and said, Nick, 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 Nickelodeon, and headbutted me right in the fucking nose and I had a huge nosebleed. I don't know why she did it to this day. I, I, I don't know why she did it. She just did it to me. She wanted to cause me pain. I don't know why. Anyway. When I was born, my father cracked this joke at me. He, he cracked this joke at, to everyone in the delivery room. He said, well, we're going to call him Nicholas in the morning and then Nick at night. So I feel like I am obliged to name my firstborn son Nick Jr. I just feel like I have to to finish my father's joke because my name is a joke. My life is a joke. Anybody else feel me on that? I feel like I have to. You guys want to see my uh, my basement again? All right. We gotta play the song. We gotta play the song. Where is it? Tear the roots up from the floor 
sword and tar against the door. Murder. 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 Sink the tooth into the wood. Still the horses with a hood. Murder. 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 Raise the book and cast the oil. Fingers in the father's soil. Murder. 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 Murder, murder be thy name. Out. Out. Murder be thy name. Welcome, welcome, my little menaces. We are summoning Vesta. We are summoning my one true love. My one true Vesta. What have they done to my sweet Rosalie? What have they done to my sweet Rosalie? No one can love her half as much as me. Does this not work? How do you do the amiibo again? I forgot how to do amiibo. Can't you just, like, scan them? How you doing, Amiibo, on the Switch? Simp. How do you get... I want Vesta. I want Vesta. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do I do it? Someone help me. How do you do it? How to scan amiibo cards on Switch Animal Crossing? On the right joystick. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, 
All right. Does this have a thing? It said on the right. You have to build a mod first. What do you mean build a mod? Maybe I have to talk to him first. Hold on. Fuck. You do it. Oh, you have to go into build mode first. Fuck. Aha! Aha! How do you... Uh... Uh... <laughs> Please, 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 please. Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Come on! Hold on. I need to, I need to switch. Press the up button. I am pressing the up button. I'm on a pro controller. I'm holding down the up button. What the fuck? How you? How you? Come on, I want Vesta. How do you do it? I feel like such a boomer right now. <laughs> I feel so fucking dumb. Fuck! I did all that for nothing?! Now I'm sad. It was there before, right? You guys saw the amiibo thing there. It was underneath you guys. Come on. Oh, fuck. Plug my controller back in. Alright, let me... Turn off my, my Joy-Cons, plug my Pro Controller back in. All right. Turn the guide back on. All right. All right, I'm seeing a wait. That's only for the Joy-Cons. This is a Pro Controller. I'm pressing it. It's not doing anything. Ah! Uh, come on, Vesta! Come on, baby! How do I do it? I want my Vesta. Get get the Joy-Con, Stinky. Don't call me Stinky. I don't know if my Joy-Cons have an RFC in it. 
or NFC in it. I don't know if they have it. Get the Amiibo card. Press it on the right joystick. Right? <laughs> I don't know if my I have I had to get replacement Joy-Cons and I got some I got off-brand ones so I don't fuck. Uh, well we'll try this next time. I'll I'll get some different Joy-Cons. I don't I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> I don't feel like going in there and getting my old Joy-Cons. I have to go in my bedroom and hunt those down. Because my old Joy-Cons were completely fucked. You know how it be. Well, I guess we ain't seeing Vesta. I'm not searching it up. I, I don't care. You should Google how to do it. I did. I did. It says, um, if you're playing on a pro controller, which I was, um, the NFC reader is over the Nintendo Switch logo, which on mine, the Nintendo Switch logo is a Zelda logo. Um, the character you scan will appear in the room. You have to open, you have to, you have to have 10 animals in the room. Okay, well, I can't do it. That's shit, now I'm sad. Now I'm sad. I just wanted to see Vesta. I need to turn down the music, it was too loud. Music was loud and shitty, making me drown out, made me sad. Damn, I guess I can't be a simp anymore if she's not real. Uh. Damn. What do you mean I can't wear this shit in my sleep? Ugh. Fine, I'll put on some fucking pajamas. God. Shit's so picky. So fucking picky all the time. Ugh. There. Put on some pajamas. Fuck. Yes, get some sleep. She watches me as I sleep. Did you guys see that? I want to dream.
Wait, wait, never mind. About the dream I shared. Update the dream. Yes. For updating my dream. Yeah, I remember the boomerang stuff. All right. So this is the dream address. Everybody write it down if you want to visit my town in your dreams and have a great time looking at all my crazy shit in my basement. I'm just gonna go ahead and let everyone write it down, you know? You know how it be, you know how it do. Let's see, I wanna play a song. Pretty Lavinia of the six and five islands Works a lot parlors in the town of missing men Carolina swamp shoes by the finger As she lingers Pretty, pretty, pretty Lavinia What was in Lavinia's drum? One more kiss is three part rum No other girl with a southern tongue Pretty Another body was combed from the Ashley Bank Tied with cattails and stones until it sank But Lavinia, breezing corners, past the mourners Pretty, pretty, pretty Lavinia Is this song from the Groovians? No, it's from American Murder Song. It's Pretty Lavinia. And now I'm going to tell you... who I'm going to tell you guys the story of Pretty Lavinia Fisher. You guys are going to love it, alright? You guys are going to love it. I wrote this myself. I wrote this paper myself, specifically for my English comp class. And I wanted to just... I wanted to read it to you. I wanted to hear what you guys thought of it. I thought I did pretty decent. 
Let's see. Where did I leave that? Ah, here we go. <clears throat> oh, hold up. All right. I can wait. Ah. We are going to read the history of America's first female serial killer, Pretty Lavinia Fisher. As you heard in the song, Pretty Lavinia, she worked uh, at a hotel, an inn, the six and five mile inn. And we're, we're going to go over why they called it that as well. But this is technically, this is a, a, a mini menace file. Mini menace file. So hopefully you're ready. How how are people gonna leave when we stop Animal Crossing, man? Y'all, y'all ain't loyal. Y'all ain't loyal. Acting like you loyal and shit. You're gonna just dip when we stop playing Animal Crossing? Damn. That's some. That's some dick move shit. You're gonna be like, damn, man, I subscribed. I subscribed. I like you, menace. I like you, menace. And then Animal Crossing goes off the screen. They dip. They dip. <laughs> they dip. They leave me. All right. America's first serial killer. We all know the horror film trope of the motel or the inn at the side of the road that is curiously empty. The friendly and welcoming owners who usher you in and tell you to make yourself at home, but somehow they seem a little too friendly. This premise has been used in hundreds of horror films and thriller novels, the reason why this theme is so shocking is because some stories are inspired by true tales of horror. Flash back to the 1800s, to the Six Mile Wayfair House. People call it that because it was six miles outside of Charleston, South Carolina. The Six Mile Inn belonged to, the, to a lovely couple, John and Lavinia Fisher. Pretty Lavinia had a type that she loved to go after rich older men she would invite these men to have tea in her inn little did those men know that their tea was spiked with the poisonous flower oleander which can kill humans after ingesting up to four grams at the least if you gave a toddler a whole like flower petal of oleander dead they die after the men finished their tea, Lavinia would offer them a bed for the night. Oddly enough, the tea wouldn't be their cause of death for these men. The bed was modified to drop into a pit filled with spikes just below the inn. If that didn't end their lives, her husband John would finish them off with an axe to their necks. Pretty Lavinia of the Six and Five Mile Inn Living in a town of missing men, as more and more people went missing, John and Lavinia Fisher seemed to get richer. They had been stealing banknotes from all of the men. Their wealth wouldn't go unnoticed by the town, though. Soon enough, people started connecting the dots to the cases of all of these missing men. All of those dots pointed the mob at the Six Mile Inn. John and Lavinia attempted to calm the mob. Soon enough, the mob left, but one man stayed at that inn. That man was David Ross. He stayed to watch them and observe their behavior. As David was leaving the inn the next morning, morning he was ambushed by two other men and Lavinia herself, shooting him in his leg, and then they left him for dead in the middle of nowhere. David Ross crawled his way to the closest police station in Charleston, and told them what had happened. Later that night, a man by the name of John Peoples entered the inn. John and Lavinia attempted their usual trap for the rich man. A hot cup of oleander tea. Lavinia... Hold on. <laughs> Lavinia went to ready his room. As he sat at the bar with his tea... Peoples didn't drink the tea. In fact, he spit it out after his first sip. And when, Revi and when Lavinia wasn't looking, he poured it out. Lavinia then attempted to ask Peoples a bunch of personal questions that made him feel very uncomfortable. How much he made, where he lived, if he had any other wealthy family members. 
all that fun, uncomfortable questioning really made him nervous. After a while, Lavinia informed Peoples that his room had become available. Already suspicious, he enters the room, but he chooses to sit in the chair by the door instead of sleeping in the bed. In the middle of the night, he woke to see the bed falling through the floor right in front of him. He leapt out of the window and ran to the nearest police station, fearing for what they had planned for him. On the day of their scheduled execution, John Fisher attempted to console the council no, wait, wait, accepted the counsel of a local reverend and attempted to repent in hopes of a last-minute communication. He told the gathered crowd that as a Christian man, he should not be put to death. Terrifyingly, to the very end, Lavinia arrives to the gallows in her wedding dress, clinging to the hope that as a married woman, she could be hanged. She could not be hanged. Neither ploy worked. The judge persisted. The execution simply would continue. John would hang first. Through the law forbids the execution of a married woman. The law had no rules against hanging a widow. Press reports at the time recorded that Lavinia's chilling last words before she leapt from the scaffold on her own instead of allowing the hangman to do his job before she jumps, she yells, If you have a message you want me to send to hell, give it to me. I'll carry it. And that was the story of Pretty Lavinia. Thank you. She thought that she could get away with it. She thought that simply stealing the riches from these old men, she could... Simply get away with it. <laughs> you can't hang a married woman. Yeah, but we can hang a widow. Ah, you guys want to see what the oleander flower looks like? I'm sure you're curious. This is the oleander flower, a beautiful flower, right? But don't eat it. Even soaking the stem of this in a drink would be enough to kill somebody. That's why in Chowder, they called it Snoriander, because you don't wake up. It's a pretty flower but it packs a deadly punch. All right, let's see. What else can I do? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. I gotta show these, cause I made them. All right, I uh, I made this last night. I made a new channel trailer. I wanted you guys to check it out. Hello there. My name is Menace Plays, and I do weekly live streams every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, all at six o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope to see you there at the streams, because I do all kinds of fun stuff. Stuff that you'll never see coming. You know what else you won't see coming? You big Ganucci bitch! It was all Ganucci! This, this wasn't even a channel tree! You big Ganucci bitch! You big Ganucci again! Ah! <laughs> he's so bane. Can we just talk about Gus being Banus? Like, he's just so stinky. He's so bane. You're so vain. You're so vain. You're so vain. Quit being vain. You stink. 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 The reason why it cuts off there is because he kicked my phone and it stopped recording.
You're so bangless. You're so bangless. You're so bangless. You're so bangless. Quit being bangless. You stink. You stink. You stinky. You stink. You stinky. You stink. You stinky. You stink. Where did you get the idea for Ganushi? Well, I can actually tell you. <laughs> I can actually tell you. I was watching Anthony's videos, if you remember Anthony. Um, and he said potato noki. Now, potato noki is a dish. I didn't know it at the time. But yeah, potato noki. I didn't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but basically, it's potato that is formed into little bitty shapes. And it's pretty decent looking. I, I kind of want to try it. But I called it Ganucci <laughs> because I didn't know how to say Noki. And, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's kind of why. And then, if I, uh, where was that stream? Was that on, on the first channel? All right, let's go. I got to go find the stream. Or I did that. Uh. Uh. It had to have been this. Right, because... Yeah, yeah. This is when Ganucci was invented. This was when Ganucci was invented. I hope you're ready to learn when Ganucci was invented. He's a... And... Because... They're also... When... When... We, uh... We see... The inside here. Inside here. As a... As a... As a... It was right here. Que c'est un papa est un lion bien sûr. I'm sorry, Anthony. I'm not laughing at your French. I'm laughing at the captions. I promise. I promise. I promise. It says, "Aha, Busen. Yeah. Well, they got their potato gunchi. <laughs> Ganucci. <laughs> Ganucci. <laughs> the word Ganucci makes me slime. <laughs> makes me slime." Quand tu me parles de mes coupsons, là... Ça... Potato Ganucci Echo 3000, they said solar top. C'est un protégeur de moi, bien sûr. Potato Ganucci Echo 3000, they could... Solar top, potato... Uh, photos... Moi, 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 Yes, sir. De tous. Hey, hey. Yo, everybody in the chat, Potato Ganucci. Hey, Kurt, Kurt, Kurt. Okay, no. Uh, no, no, I'm going to... <laughs> Kurt, Kurt, Kurt. <laughs> I want to know. I wish I understood French so I could understand what, what he's saying. I, I just, I'm completely lost. But I love the Kurt, Kurt, Kurt. I wonder what Kurt stands for in French. I'm, I, I'm probably saying something crazy, but... Uh, oh, well. You know what? For Anthony, I'll repeat anything. I'll be a parrot. Speaking English... The final of the Twitter, this, this final now, of BBC Kids Air television sitcoms animated. The Twitter questions and answer. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Could someone please draw what they assume a potato ganucci is? It sounds like an Italian dish. Uh, dish. <laughs> it is. Robot chicken... And not my Pee Wee's Playhouse? Are you fucking kidding me? I'll destroy Robot Chicken. I've been Ganucci'd. I, I feel like I've been Ganucci'd too. We should just make that a thing. <laughs> so, okay. For someone to be Ganucci'd, um, Dabbing Crash appears on the screen, right? And then in the background of it is, um, Rainbow Factory by Living Tombstone. So, here, let, I'll set up a scene real quick. Let me. 
Let me set up a scene. This is gonna have crash. I know you can't see the chat right now. But you're gonna be able to green screen this. Just just give me one sec. The factory. <laughs> Sugar and spice for a rainbow. You can see it with the help of the magic of the Vegas device. Nucci'd. Oh fuck, the, the chat's not working. Someone, someone say something. <laughs> I love this face on Crash. It makes me laugh. But yeah, so that's that's the Gnucci. That's where we got Ganucci from. Because I'm sure you were wondering where it was and what the reference was. But that is Ganucci. And then sea cucumbers. <laughs> sea cucumbers began to be part of the lore as well. Right? Ah, oh, damn. That wasn't the right stream. Gmod horror maps, too. All right. No. Was it this stream? The fuck? What stream was it? What stream was it? When did I do the... When did I do the little stupid thing I did with the sea cucumbers in the 7-Eleven? I'm gonna find it eventually. How am I even getting ads on my own old videos? Oh yeah, that's when I played that one game. I liked that game. That was a neat game. Where the fuck? see wasn't that i'll find it eventually you think it was a mix of gmod and pokemon it might have been it can't come before part four of my reaction channel why do you not monetize your channel here, you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you why you can't. Mo I can't monetize Menace Plays. You want to see? Here, behind the scenes. I'm going to show you some behind the scenes shit, right? So if I click on the monetization button, it's, it shows me this. I have to have 1,000 subscribers, and I have to have 4,000 public hours watched. <laughs> so if you want to be able to give me money, it would be really nice if you got me up to 1,000 subscribers. And if you watched a whole bunch of my videos, please. <laughs> But yeah, so that <laughs> that's why. Also, um, if you want to see something really neat, look at this. Uh, can't, 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 can't. It's my own fault for playing copyrighted music, but you know what? Uh, who fucking cares? I mean, it's not like I'm monetizing them anyway, so I just kind of say fuck it. Now, I'm trying to figure out what stream it was where I did the 7-Eleven stuff. Is it Minecraft? I had to have showed it off, right? Nah. This one? What's this? Off from his desk. Oh, this is the Stanley Parable one. 
Where is it? Damn. I wonder if, the, is that one just gone? I think that one's just gone, y'all. <laughs> what was the first? What was the first sound when I opened this video? A nasty fart. It's curled up and um, sleeping in Mother Kelp's belly. <laughs> Again, that that was a weird thing to open that video to. Was it Blue Cat Riola? <laughs> Did y'all hear the the brap? I'll be right back. Windows is being a bitch to me. It's alright. I don't know. I don't know if Slayer Coon's bisexual. It's not really my place to. I don't know, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? Was it this? Did I play Gmod here? No, I didn't play Gmod there. It's gotta be... It's not Package Reviewer. Not this one. It's not the finale. <sighs> this one? No, because that's when I played that one game. I played that for a while. It was the Memorial Day stream. I remember it was Memorial Day. I remember. Oh uh, yeah, so I, I can't fucking find it. I can't fucking find it. Why do you hate the package reviewer? I don't hate him. But I can show you where I talk to him. If that'll help understand. Here. I'll 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 play the uh my conversation that I had with him. And if you want to watch it, it's on my other channel. Menace versus, versus the Package Reviewer, also Minecraft Part 6. Wow, look at that old loading screen. Alright, let's see. Uh, It's nothing too serious. It's just a mild air infection. They're just gonna, you know... Fuck! Add! You found it? Holy shit, you found it? Hold on. Megby says she found it. Big fat, like neck beard looking guy. Megby, that. And you say graphic design is my passion. Megby, that. Like, so already, uh, uh, not even watching the video, you get this assumption of Anthony that he's this this creepy uh, guy with a neck beard. Yeah. All right. You thought no, it's not a Minecraft match. This no, 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 no. Elect man. It, I recommend that you just watch this video, to be honest. So oh, here, I, I should probably share a screen. He made a video about Anthony, and it was just really fucking mean to him in this video. Like, he was just so mean to him. So, I said, you know, let's debate. Let's, let's go through that video. I'm going to tell you exactly what I, you know, had a problem with it. That's, that's why I didn't like the package reviewer. Because he was acting all smug and bullying this guy who couldn't stand up for himself. And it was just a really shitty thing to do. But yeah. So this is this is what it's called. Menace vs. Backup Reviewer. It's on my archive channel if you want to watch it. You're so banned. You're so banned. You're so banned. You're so banned. Quit being banned. You stink. 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 He's so banus. What is this? Rip menace plays. What do you mean rip menace plays? I ain't dead. I ain't dead. Bundy's move out productions. Who 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 this is?
Okay, he looks neat. I like him. Okay, he likes Godzilla. I like Godzilla. But welcome to the team, man. Alright, let's see. What else could I talk about? It had something to do with Hilux 2. So that means it was on my... Ch okay, it means it was on Minutes Plays. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I am looking. I am looking so hard. Hmm. Oh, oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. It was Hilux 2 Part 1. All right, where's the part where I'm just throwing... <laughs> Got, where's the part where I'm just throwing sea cucumbers? Here it is. <laughs> Here it is. Uh -huh, let me. I just need a sea cucumber pile. Whoa! Fuck you, 7 Eleven! Fuck you! Fuck you, 7 Eleven! Get cumbered, bitch! It's real sea cucumber hours right now, bitch! Damn. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Yeah. Fu you know what? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if these two cucumbers are alive. <laughs> Ganucci, the 7 Eleven. That's what I. What do you think I'm doing? This is what happens when you get Ganucci'd, bitch. Yeah, I throw sea cucumbers at your ass. Oh, came back. Anytime I Granucci, y'all, this is what's happening. Like, literally. You get you get a fucking sea cucumber thrown at your dumb little face. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Throwing at your face at 30 miles an hour. I just like for, like, as I went on with the Ganucci thing, more lore started to get created. I wanna know, can I kill somebody with this? Hold on. Uh, Chucky, be my assistant, will you? Oh, f- Yeah, so that was Ganucci. If someone wants to do like a like a did you know gaming parody, and it's like about Ganucci, that would be funny. That would be funny. I would laugh. I would lol. I would show it on stream. Honestly, that. Oh, speaking of showing on stream, uh, Goaty has been making these fucking amazing. On it, and this is amazing. I like how I had 13, now we're at 6. We just, we're missing 7. His bicycle had flashing red and blue lights, according to the police report. Florida man poses as an FBI... Florida, hold on, hold on. Florida man poses as an FBI agent and dumps a live catfish on a woman's driveway. What? <laughs> what? I want an FBI agent. Okay, first off, okay. Let's 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 paint the scenario. Hold on. Let me open up Microsoft Paint. 
and uh, we'll we'll go through this together. We'll go through it. Goaty, this is a this is the best video ever. You're amazing. Together, all right. <laughs> Look at Crash! He's going fucking crazy! So dude just straight up says... <laughs> dude straight up says, YEET! <laughs> just throws the catfish! <laughs> just runs! <laughs> Woman, she needed to show proof of ID that she was in the U.S. legally. When she said she was a U.S. citizen and he needed to leave, Dudley refused. Her husband came out and told him the same thing, and Dudley said they were guilty of housing illegal aliens. They eventually called police, and that is when Dudley took off, but not before dumping several live catfish on the driveway. It wasn't just one, it was several! <laughs> what? I still don't understand. Okay, so the Florida man was riding a bicycle dressed up as an FBI agent, but yet he also either had a bucket, a cooler, or a like a Walmart sack filled with live catfishes, so there had to be water in it, correct? But how many catfishes? That's the thing. It has to be double digit. Or else they wouldn't say a lot. Multiple. What? So it wasn't one. <laughs> it was fucking multiple catfish. Multiple fucking catfish. Catfishes. Dude says, you're illegal aliens. Fucking <laughs> those catfishes on the ground fucking dips. What? <laughs> what? Go to the sound effects. Keep them coming. I love the sound effects. They, they make me happy. Please. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing, Goatee. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you you did a great job. You did a great job. Uh, let's see. I think I think that's where we're gonna end it. We've been going for about two hours. You eat catfish asses. Time to kill the catfishes. You love for you love how everyone is modded, but you. Well, the reason why a lot of people have mod is because... Okay, the reason why I mod a lot of people is because not a lot of people show up to my streams. And I like to have a good, like, protection wall, I guess, in case some crazy person comes in here and starts causing trouble. So I like to have the idea of, no matter who shows up, I'll have someone to back me up and do some shit. That's kind of why I did that. And right now I have a pretty decent number of them and I don't know if I'm ever going to increase the amount of people I have modded. Yeah, Dave earned his. A lot of the people who have their wrenches earned those wrenches. Or they're in the Discord server. I mean, Megby is a mod in my Discord server. And so is Lapis. And so is... um. So is Gatsby. Where, wherever Gatsby went, I miss him. I should probably message him and tell him that the election's over. Because <laughs> he left because of the whole um, us being so mean to Republicans. Oh, hey. That's a stinky baby. That's a stinky baby. One more. Yeah. I'll message Gatsby tonight. See if he wants to come back. Uh man. This was a fun stream. I think we had a lot of fun. What do you guys think? Uh we uh I got to show off my all my outfits in Animal Crossing and y'all got to see my basement. <laughs> What what did you guys think of my Animal Crossing house? Did you guys think it was pretty pretty decent? I'll do you know what before we leave I'll do like a little uh, I'll do some Q and A shit I'll do I'll do I'll do twenty minutes of Q and A so yeah so we we got twenty minutes on the clock 
Uh, we, uh, we got 20 minutes. Ask me anything you want. Hey, your internet didn't cut off. That was crazy. All right. 20 minutes to ask me anything you want. I'm just sitting here. I'm just vibing. Ask me anything. Pineapple on pizza? Yep. Is your dyslexia uh, hereditary? I don't know. I don't really know if dyslexia is hereditary. I hope not. Aphoria is disgusting, yes. Exactly. He, he worded it better than I could. Here, I'll, I'll put something up on the screen that says maybe like Q&A or some shit. Here. So let, let's just put him on the screen. Little alpaca llama thing. Menace, do you are half stupid? Um, some days. Some days. Uh, do you have any fishes? No, I do not. I do not have any fishes. I had one at one point. His name was Garrett. And uh, he died because uh, he had some kind of, like, fungus or something growing on him. When is... When the is me the you... Yeah. Quit fucking with me. <laughs> How many villagers do you have? I saw, I saw that in the chat. How many villagers do you have? Um. Okay, let's see. I have Scoot, Bertha, Pate, um, Zucker, and Cat. So I, I have five. LG14 is a pimp because he's in love with Rainbow Dash and Sally Acorn, yeah? Have you ever had explosive diarrhea? Oh, most definitely. I mean, who hasn't in their life? Who is the dog in your latest Sub the Menace videos? Oh, that's just some random pug. That's just a random pug. Uh, here, I, I'll actually show the, the people at home what you're talking about. Uh, on my Super Menace channel, every once in a while, I put out a video that says Sub the Menace Plays. <laughs> And uh, this week, I, uh, I, found, I found this in my phone, this video in my phone, where, uh, here, let me get rid of the llama. <laughs> I'm trying to put it on you. you <laughs> but yeah, that, it's just some random pug video. It's, it's no one I know. No dog I know, sadly. I'd love to know him, though. He seems like a cute little boy. Uh, let's see. Apple Dash Numbs is kind of bad. Yeah, but he's also kind of sad. He's a sad, sad, strange little man. Uh, do you like snakes? Just wondering. Yes, I do like snakes. Snakes are pretty interesting. How long have you wanted the Sheep God? You mean Vesta? Since I got the game. Have you been to Augusta Burger? Who hasn't? I mean, everyone's been to Augusta Burger. Have you been? Man. I, yes, I've, I've been to Augusta Burger. Uh, Menace, opinions on Mountain Dew. I didn't drink Mountain Dew for the longest time. In fact, I didn't start drinking Mountain Dew again. Okay, so I, drink, I drank Mountain Dew up till sixth grade. Then I stopped drinking Mountain Dew. And then I didn't start drinking Mountain Dew again until I believe 20... 2018. Because I was told in middle school that it makes your dick small, so I stopped drinking it. <laughs> I know. Stupid reason to uh, stop drinking Mountain Dew, but I was a very gullible child. Remember Brain Times 3? Yes, he's the guy that draws all that child porn, or child vor porn. Really fucking creepy. Like, really fucking creepy. I might extend our Q&A time if you guys want. I don't know. Boo-hoo, Mountain Dew makes your dick small. <laughs> That's what I believed. I, 
I was scared. You know, in middle school, that's that's just kind of this kind of shit you hear, you know. Have you heard of girls, vores, boys? Uh, yeah. I actually wrote a song about them. It was for a scrapped DeviantArt What the Fuck video. I was gonna do um, boy or girls, boys, girls. It was a uh, Panic at the Disco song. Uh, it was gonna be girls for girls and boys. It was gonna be something like that. It was gonna be like girls for girls and boys. <laughs> you know, it, it was something like that. <clears throat> I had to do it twice because the first time I didn't do it right. Uh, could you please extend it? Yes, 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 yes. We'll extend it. I'll just keep going until I'm tired of answering shit. How about that? Let's just do that. Or once the stream hits three hours, I'll do it. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do some Q&A shit. So keep, keep asking questions. Have you ever listened to Red Vox? Yes, I have. My favorite song from Red Vox is Memento Mori. You're surprised she's still in DA? Yeah. Uh, will you get Mr. Venus? Uh, no, he does not let me pick him up. Unless I, like, sneak attack, pick him up. Gus hates me. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Gus fucking hates me. But he only comes to me when Nana is gone. So I only get Gus when he's in full-blown meltdown depressive mode. And uh, when Nana's gone, he just he just gets fucking... He, he's like a simp for anyone who is, like, near him. He'll, he'll let anyone pick him up. But he simps for Nana hard. So, he's stinky. Yeah, Gus, Gus doesn't like me, because I get his feet, and I hide his pigs, and I get his bones. He doesn't like me. Uh, Godzilla173 was the definition of lying about him, of being 49. Yeah, probably, but I don't doubt it. Um, oof, favorite meme. My favorite meme right now has to be Turning Point USA or Toilet Paper USA. Fucking love that. I love those memes. If you have those memes, send them to me. I love them. Uh, remember Minecraft Vor? Uh, yes. There was a YouTube channel called Minecraft Vor. There was also a YouTube channel called Vortastic, which would take videos that, they, that she found of pregnant women and just put gurgling sounds over them and screaming child sounds over them that were muffled. It was very, very disgusting. Very disgusting. Very creepy indeed. And I just, uh, I don't understand people, man. It's fucking wild. What's next? Who's next? I think I showed off Vortastic on Vor Day. I think I did that. Did the chat freeze? You're still thinking? Alright. I'm just sitting here. Remember uh, Private Vor? He was a person who stealed other people's art without their permission. Yeah, probably. Have you ever heard of Payday 2? Yes, and I have it. I actually have uh, Payday 2 with all of its DLC on my computer, and I haven't played it because I was waiting for my friend Denzel to get home. Are you the Duke of Sodor? I don't... I don't know what that means. The Minecraft Vor channel is still around. He removed all of his vids and said that he was going to stop doing Vor, but around two videos later, he came back to Vor. Yeah. That's usually how these obsessive types do it. They say that they'll stop, and then they just come right back. It's... It's sad. It's sad that they can never escape the, uh, the stomach of their, um, captive obsession. You catch my drift. Can you put on a Duke Nukem impersonation? Alright, um. I have balls of steel. Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. I've come. <laughs> I've come to kick ass and chew bubble gum, but I'm all out of gum. Can you brap? 
I got spit all over me just for you. Probably the reason why Minecraft Vor started making Vor again, he couldn't get used to jacking off to normal porn, so he said screw it and went back. Uh, ever read the book called Holes? Yeah. And I watched the movie with uh, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. It was a good, good book. Uh, but my favorite book is Lord of the Flies, or Watchmen. It's a, my favorite graphic novel is uh, Watchmen. I read Watchmen as a PDF long ago. Like when I first made my Menace character, I read Watchmen. I was reading Watchmen at the time when I actually designed Menace. Fun fact. You ever heard of the movie called Revenge for Jolly? No. I'm not remembering the multiplication table. I have a calculator and my ass is fat. Okay. Remember Bilal the Sega Gamer song? Uh, it was one of the best songs ever created. Yeah, like, really. Bilal, he was a really funny fella. I, I like Bilal. He actually does uh, streams. And he's a pretty neat guy. So. But he he's just, you know... A little silly in the head, and uh, you know I had to put him in line. But do I think do I think he still deserves hate? No, he doesn't. A lot of the Sega gamer definitely changed. I think that he's doing all right now, except now instead of like vor and inflation, he's drawing spinning. I don't know. Menace, what's your favorite speed running technique? I thought you were going to tell me what's my favorite speed run, because I was going to say American Dad speed runs. Those are also really fucking funny memes. American Dad speed runs. I don't know if anyone ever saw those. Mm. <laughs> uh, favorite speed running technique, BLJ, of course. Uh, any other DeviantArt fetishes, uh, fetish users should remember? Uh, uh, Fire Lapis Jade. Uh, let's see. There's Fire Lapis Jade. There's... Uh, Tit tank? Uh. Uh. Da, 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 da. Heroin Phi. Of course. How could I ever forget Heroin Phi? Chunk of ass. Chunk of ass. Oh. You got a chunk of ass. You got a chunk of ass on you. I can smell it. I can smell the chunk of ass. Brian Lapis Jade's pony avatar looks gay. Like, seriously, it has the most punchable face ever. Could you sing a Jack Savage song for us? Okay, have you played Mario Kart 8? Yes, and I suck at it. Do I need it, Mocha? Am I under control? Do I need it? Wake up. If it swallowed me whole, would I see it? I can make you feel alive. I know, but do I need you to survive? <gasps> Just a sip. <laughs> Just a trip. <laughs> Am I dumbfounded when I slip? You can't believe, you can't believe, you can't believe, I can't believe, you can't believe, I can't believe this happened. Wow. French vanilla think I should sit this one out. <laughs> Maybe a, a cup of self-control will be the route. But it's the flavor, it's the flavor you want. Maybe so, but it feels better to check than to reflect. Oh. Can you sing the Bilal the Sega Gamer song? N no. I cannot sing that better than him. He was truly a Chad in that moment. He completely flexed on me so goddamn hard, and the only thing I could do was laugh. What's your favorite song? If you really wanted to know my favorite songs, um... Oh... What do you think of Super Jail? I, I loved Super Jail. I watched Super Jail to the very, very end. Alright, so you want to see my favorite songs, huh? Alright, here. I'll help you out. Ooh, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of Mr. Llama for a sec. Oh, fuck, I gotta fix this. Ah, uh, shit. All right. 
So I really like uh, Roundabout. In fact, here my my playlist on Spotify is. You know what? I'll just put it in the chat. Share. Boom. All right. So if you want to see what my favorite songs are, uh, there you go. It's all of this. It's just it's just a list. A list. It just it goes on. A lot of it's Panic at the Disco. I like a lot of really weird shit. Uh, I'm into a lot of indie shit. Let's just say that I'm into a lot of indie. I'm into just just a lot of stuff. Really, stuff I like. I I've been listening to almost the same shit for a while. Like for almost like. Almost fifteen years I've been listening to the same shit. Maybe not fifteen, but it maybe ten. For the last ten years, I've just been listening to the same fucking music, and I only recently changed my genre. But I, uh, I love Panic at the Disco. <laughs> Anything Panic at the Disco, I, I love it. But I cannot name you. I cannot give you a favorite song, because I love all of my songs that I listen to. Hey, Menace, can we get a face cam for a second? I don't want to do that. Because <laughs> my room my room where I film things in is really fucking messy. I don't want to do that shit. That and also, I don't know where the fuck I put my webcam. Since I haven't been opening up Pokemon cards, I've kind of lost my webcam. But I will show you a picture of me today that I posted. Yeah, here, let me uh, put it in the Discord. Save the image. Uh, dot, no, da, 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 dot PNG. All right, I'm gonna turn the llama into me. Oh fuck! Hear, hear me, hear me, just chilling, chilling in my thinking corner. Just chilling. That's me. This is what I look like. I'm growing a beard right now for uh, No Shave November. I just now noticed that wall makes my teeth look yellow. That's really fucking cool. <laughs> That's really fucking cool. Ginger too mad. Right now my hair is doing this weird thing where it has like this little curl... It's really fucking weird. Alright, what was your question? You forgot to read my question. What was your question? Can you sing the Law of the Sega Gamer song? No, I already said no. I can't do it justice. Oh, fuck. I found my webcam. I found you. Okay, now... Now I guess I can do a face cam. Anything behind me that's shit? Yeah. I got some trash. All right, let's uh, get rid of you. Uh, oh, hello, 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 hello. So, right now, here, I'll uh, put you right here. Boom. I'm wearing my Menace shirt, of course. Of course, you gotta rep the merch. Gotta rep that merch. Of course. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. As you can see, I have a lot of shit. Oh, don't look up there. There's trash. Oh. <laughs> nice, bud. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm looking. I'm looking at you over here. Oh, hey, look. Oh, hey, look. Oh, hey, look. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> oh, hey, look. 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 Whoa. 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 Hee hee. You're talking into a testicle. Uh, no. No, I'm not talking into a testicle. You silly goober. You're a goober. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Uh, oh, by the way, uh, okay, so this is my mic, this is my, my mic -a rooney my blue, uh, here's my fireball, in case I want to get crunk, 
and drunk. Uh, where's my Switch and Vesta? As always, is sitting by the Switch. My mouse pad situation for all these people new. My sound bar. This is a great sound bar. Um, in Smart on Amazon, I got it for thirty dollars. It's a good, good speaker. Really high quality. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much what's going on. What's your favorite meme? I already told you, it's Turning Point USA memes. It's a Fushigi? <laughs> Probably. Probably a Fushigi. Oh, oh fuck. Do you see that? <laughs> Look at all that fucking cardboard I have to break up. It's so much bullshit. It's so much bullshit I have to do. I just put, can I put you right here? Oh, come on, come on. Hey! There we go. Hi! Can we get a tear for dodgeball? I can't cry on command. Here, I'll, I'll pretend. Uh, uh, hold on, let me let me get the light on me. All right. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering what I'm drinking out of, this is what I'm drinking out of. It is a Wolf uh, Big Yeti cup. I got it from Dollar General, oddly enough. For five dollars. <sighs> I'll get my fake tears away. By the way, these are my headphones. They're really nice headphones, but I really wish I had some wireless ones. But I don't even know if they make wireless headphones for computers anymore. What would you do if you didn't have the sheet? I didn't have Vesta. I didn't have. I didn't have Vesta. I would get her. Get her. What I would do. Do you watch Meat Canyon? Uh, yeah, he's funny. I really liked his uh, J the James Charles one, the beauty one. Uh, yeah, as you can see, my hair is doing this thing where it does this swoop kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. You gotta love the fact how the admins comments appear first. Oh wow, really? I didn't know that. Maybe it's because it's like, oh, you think of an admin, you think of someone who's really important. You think of an important person who, why am I wearing headphones? Oh yeah, by the way, you can't see my ears unless I turn. People always make fun of me because I have like a tater tot head. Yeah, so my ears are hidden behind my cheek. I should put them back on. That way I don't look like such a goober. You know? By the way, I, I always keep one ear out. You know, I always keep one ear out because I like to be able to like hear my voice to make sure I'm not talking too loud into my microphone. Because if I was talking too loud into my microphone, it'd be like this. Even art sucks nowadays. Yeah, it does. Snake eyes. <laughs> Something like that. Hey, did you know that I can actually do like uh, I can talk without losing my lips? You know, like I can do this. Hey man, hey, how you doing? You doing all right? Hey, how you doing? You doing all right? Hey, you doing all right? I can do that. Like I can talk without moving my lips. Reading. I'm reading what you guys are saying. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ooh, what if we put me up in the corner, really? Hi. 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 Menace is an oblivion. Oh, what? Oh, wow, really? An oblivion NPC. Really? I find that very offensive. Oblivion NPC. They're not as ugly as I am. Scrub Daddy versus Hogwash versus it's dish fish, not dish dish. Dish 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 dish. <laughs> what is that one video of the little kid? Like he's like dish dish. Anybody remember that? Here, let's get the light back on me. That way I can blind myself. I blind myself and with a lamp for dish dish. dish. Hold on, I'm gonna get my giant Pokemon card. Fuck, where is it? All right, it's it's a it's a dub double <clears throat> dish 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 dish. See my eye. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. <laughs> my first time doing webcam on this channel so. who will win though scrub daddy hogwash or dish fish scrub daddy has a gang with him we're talking the scour daddy scrub mommy um scoured i already said scour daddy didn't i uh, the scrub daddy lemon scrub spookies the spooky scrubs Scrub Puppy, Scrub Kitty. Dude, there's only one fucking hogwash. And there's only one fucking dish fish. So you're telling me that these one little trick ponies can stand up to the whole scrub gang? Nah, Sway. Nah, Sway. Nah, fam. That's not how that shit works. Can we get a special face cam brap? I guess you can. <laughs> There you go. Scrub piggy and scrub fishy. Nah, we don't. They're not part of the family. Okay. Get your scrub daddy. It's in the fucking bathroom. I'm not going in the bathroom. I'm streaming. I'm not going to go in the bathroom. Oh yeah, my the acne. I'm sure you're probably wondering what all this is. I'm taking a brand new medication, uh, Wellbutrin, and it's causing a little bit of a breakout, a little bit of acne. No big deal. There we go. Now it's kind of even. Uh. You saw a scrub daddy at Bed Bath and Beyond. Oh. Well, better get it. You better get it. Get it. Get it. You remember the scrub daddy uh torture videos? What is Oh I got a message on my Oh, that was from my Instagram. You said that you wanted to do face cram full screams. I might have to do a redesign of my layout here. I mean, I would have to do something like this, maybe. Would you guys mind this? Or maybe I move Menace and... Oh, fuck. Or maybe I move Menace and put myself here in the bottom. I would have to change out the layout of everything. That's the thing with face cam, you know? You have to change everything out just to put it there, you know? Hey, everybody, my name is Markiplier. Nah. Yeah, I'm not feeling the face cam either. To be honest, not feeling it either. You don't mind the change? 
Well, I mean, if people ask for it, maybe. It depends on the day. I mean, some days I'm having a bad hair day, and I don't want to put my fucking... You feel me? Today, my hair is... Just a mess. Just a mess my hair is. Hair's a mess! Ugh! One of these days, I'm gonna get a man bun, and I'm gonna have a full beard, I'm gonna look like Vosh. Is there a code to join your island? Not right now. <laughs> We're not even playing right now. We're not playing right now. Does all this look like Animal Crossing to you? Does all of this... Do I look like an Animal Crossing character? I need to go... Can you can we get an a uh, an AVG and ass ass fuck? All right. It looks like Animal Cross. All of this looks like Animal Cross. How? How? Smoking. He saw the thumbnail. Yeah. Well, hey, hey, uh, Ian, Ian, the uh, unextraordinary. If you rewind a little bit in the stream for when we're playing Animal Crossing, uh, my dream code is there. So, if you wanted to go to my island and explore, you can. My dream code is there. It's nearing the end of the segment for Animal Crossing. This is the Q&A segment, where I apparently decided to turn on my face cam because people asked for it. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. It's okay, man. It's aight. It's aight. It's aight. It's aight, man. We all good. We all good here. We're just here to vibe and chill. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Let me turn this off real quick. I'm going to grab my Mr. Medicare hat. Is it in here? I thought I still had it in here. I don't. I don't have my Medicare hat in here. Fuck. You're going to sub? All right, great. I very much appreciate it. Please do sub. Let's see. Look, what can I do? The thing that all these other YouTubers do? Can I uh, go to my YouTube studio and see? Uh, oh, only twenty percent of the people who watch me are subscribed, or some shit like that. Let's check out the analytics. Let's see. Ugh. All this water's making me burp. Audience. Hey, 16% of the people who watch me are not subscribed. 16%. 83% of the people who watch me are subscribed, but 16.5%? Uh, if I could give Didi a special message, what would it be? Didi, you're valued very much. You are amazing. I think there's a fly on my neck. That wasn't part of the message. <laughs> All right, let's see. 22.6% uh, of my audience is female. 77.4% is male. Let's see. Uh, a lot of my videos do not have post captions. 53% um, of my audience, 53.4 actually, is in the United States, of course. 4.7% um, is in the United Kingdom. Zero is in Australia. Someone's lying. All right. The audience range of mine is uh, 18 to 24 and 25 to 34. I don't know if there's any 34-year-olds watching me, but hey, if you're 34, hi. Hi. You're my chair. My chair, it's squeak. I need a new chair. This chair, I've had this chair since uh, 2014. It's an old chair. You're 11? And you're wanting to watch me? Ugh. I don't know, man. Oh, that was a fun noise. I gotta update my computer. <laughs> so I'll probably do that when I'm off the street. Let's see. What else we got here? Oh, by the way. Um, this will be my 52nd video. 
apparently my 50th my 50th video is the uh the live stream leftovers so you can kind of consider that one as a celebration live stream maybe so yeah and if you're new to the channel um i have all kinds of stuff here uh like i said uh live stream leftovers is really fun all right all right i'm back what do you want <laughs> I don't know. Go. Talking. Just talking. Talking about shit. Can you raise your eyebrows? Do a JoJo pose? No, but... No, I'm good. It's like... The funny thing is about the Cheetah commercial is that Kmart, Ames, and Walworth are no longer in business. Will you ban me if I spam F? Yeah? Why are you gonna spam F? Watch Max Ramley go, Time to take his shit! When is the next live stream leftovers? I don't know. You guys seem to really like it. What's your opinion on the PS5? I don't really want one. I have a PC. Yes, I would ban you if you typed F in the chat for... I mean, like, I understand if the stream went down. Like, if it's buffering. Or maybe, like, I don't know, I blew my fucking brains out live on air. But, you don't really need to press F in the chat. There's no reason to. Or maybe if a character in a video game died, then maybe that. But, uh. What's your favorite show right now? JoJo. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is my favorite TV show. Love that stuff. Let's end the stream at 10. That's all right, Ian. You don't have to apologize, man. You're all good. Drinking my water. You guys are probably wondering what uh what what uh what what's this back here? It's another box just filled with shit. Like I said before, cardboard boxes. I really gotta break those down even. So all of that over there, that is like just Amazon boxes and shit that I just haven't broken down. That's my fault, really. You've never been noticed by a streamer. Well. I notice everybody. I, I've always hated the fact that YouTubers are like, I'm above my audience. I'm above my audience. I am the one who controls everything. Why should I talk to these mere numbers, these mere peasants? I hate that shit. That's what I've always valued about my audience. I've always tried to reply to everyone and give everyone, you know, an answer. Uh, remember Mac tonight? Yes, it then became a white supremacist symbol. Moon Man. I remember that. Uh, hey Menace, what was your worst childhood trauma? Hmm. I'm trying to think. I had a lot of childhood traumas. Um. I'm trying to think. Trying to think. Trying to think. I didn't like ticks as a kid. When I was a kid, um, I, I liked to play outside a lot. Sometimes I'd get ticks on me. And they always were on the weirdest fucking places. Like, it's not even like easy places to get them off. Uh, one time, when I was four, I was outside playing hide and seek with my sisters. I hid inside of the dog's house. And they couldn't find me. And uh, my mom called the police because she thought I was kidnapped by a pedophile. Turns out I was just hiding in the doghouse. Anyway, when I got out, I had a tick right here on my neck, right here on my Adam's apple. And it was 
Horrible. My mother couldn't get it off. She rubbed nail polish remover on my neck and it just kind of let loose. Which, that was really weird and I've always had a really big fear of ticks. Like, I just don't like ticks. I don't like anything that tries to like latch onto you and can kill you with Lyme disease. I just, ugh. Don't like it. Um, another story I was playing in my backyard, probably when I was like seven, and I got a tick on my testicle. And I didn't know what the fuck I could do. I was so nervous to ask my mother to help me. I was like, I have a tick on my nuts. And it was the most uncomfortable thing ever. And then for the longest time, like, my nutsack would itch, like, a lot. Like, I don't know if you've ever had a tick bite. Those those things itch. So imagine, you know, I, I'm like a little seven-year-old boy. I'm just scratching my fucking nuts, you know? Scratching my nuts. Yeah, elect kid. Did you not... Were you not here for when I showed the trailer? I stream Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. At 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I do not stream on Sundays because that's the day I do my homework for my online classes. Same with Monday and Tuesday. I do all my homework then. I need to put some oil on my beard. My beard is getting very itchy. This is that stage of the beard where it's all awkward. It's awkward. It's itchy. It's just annoying. This is what I hate about growing out a beard. But I like growing out a beard. You like my emojis? They're cute. I think every YouTuber has these emojis. I think these are the default emojis. Maybe when I get bigger down the line, I'll do memberships and make custom emojis and stuff. Hmm. Stream leftovers. I feel like we should do live stream leftovers when I have leftover content. That's kind of the point of it. <laughs> okay, the idea behind why I called it Livestream Leftovers, it was segments that I didn't have enough time to get to. Either because I had to end the stream early, or because I was tired, or I just didn't think about it. So I talked about the commercials thing, because I was going to do it on Wednesday, but YouTube decided, no stream for you. And uh, so I did it Thursday. Same with the Anthony segment. That was just a segment I wanted to get to on Wednesday, but couldn't. So mainly it's just going to be stuff that I couldn't get to. Whoa! <laughs> you speaking in Korean? <laughs> Menace, how would you categorize your audience? Family. You guys are epic. Those are just epic. Come on, man. I just want to watch old commercials with you. So we can watch old commercials on stream. Hmm. How's about this? How about... Friday. Fridays we'll do Menace Files and Livestream Leftovers. Or maybe we'll do Livestream Leftovers on a Saturday. I'll think about it, okay? I'll think about it. That way, we will do, you know, that way it's not too often. Maybe every other week. Don't call me a boomer. I'm Gen Z. I'm a Zoomer. I'm a Zoomer. Born in 1998. July 20th. On my level. Hey Menace, could you name the next <laughs> 3.5? I don't know if we're going to continue Fallout 3. Fallout 3 is giving me a lot of trouble. I don't know if you guys were here for the Wednesday stream, but it was crashing a lot. So I don't know what I'm going to do with Fallout 3. I may put it on a hiatus for a while and continue another series that I put on hiatus. Maybe Minecraft 
or Pokemon Heart Gold randomized. I think I need to bring those back anyway. Maybe I'll bring back Pokemon. Maybe Minecraft. It depends on what you guys want more. Do you want more Minecraft? Do you want more Pokemon Heart Gold randomized? Because I have all kinds of stuff under my belt that I can do. What is a child? Okay, what is a child was on DeviantArt? What would happen? That would be very interesting scenario. You want Minecraft? All right. Well, we'll do more Menacecraft. Everyone loved Menacecraft. Yeah, Fallout Three crashes so much. No, I really like Fallout Three. I really do. I wanted to play it, but uh, we're just gonna have to. We're gonna have to put that on the shelf for a while. Maybe I'll play through it once I figure out the kink that it's in. It's just very shitty. Smash Brothers. I cannot play Smash Brothers um, on my Switch. Well, I can, but not streaming it because the capture card I have has a has a delay on it, and fighting games. Mm -mm. You do not want that delay on your Switch. Especially when you're in the middle of a battle, you know? What if a kid was on DeviantArt? Well, I mean, they are anyway. If you want to know what happens if a kid is on DeviantArt, you know exactly what happens. What's the worst situation you've ever had to fart in? Hmm... Let's see. Probably a funeral. Definitely a funeral. They get banned. Well, it depends on how old they are. I mean, you have to be 13 to get on DeviantArt. That's still a child. That's still a child. In fact, I, you're not fully an adult until you're 20. Because 19 is still a teen. And with 18... All right, let's see. What else are you guys talking about? Gus is in there barking. I don't know if you can hear. Ooh, actually. I have a story. I have a story, I think. So... When I was a little kid, <laughs> I did a lot of stupid shit when I was a little kid. I think everyone could say, yeah, when I was a little kid, I did a bunch of stupid shit. I did as well. I think I was probably... When did Shrek 2 come out? Hold on. I gotta do a little bit of research. Let me do research. Shrek 2, 2004. I was six. I was six. All right. Where is it? There it is. Ah, uh, there it is. All right, I'm going to put this on screen because I had this. You have to, you have to, you have to realize everything. That way you can understand what I'm talking about. All right, let me put it up. All right, I had this when I was a little kid, right? I had this. This was the Shrek 2 castle playset. And it was so neat because it came with a uh, giant gingerbread man. And, and it came with little miniatures of all the characters in Shrek 2. And uh, it, it had all kinds of little features like uh, 
up here on top of the castle, you see that little window that's open. You could put a character in there, and uh, it would uh, it would like make them fall down. It was it was neat. It was neat. I had that. It's still on Amazon, actually. How much is it? How much is this going for? Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to send an email. Fuck. No, I don't want to... Oh, great. $176. Holy shit. This goes for $176 now. What the fuck? Wow. Anyway, so back to this. No, here, let's just uh, let's remove it. You you saw what it looked like. All right, so I had that right, and I had the gingerbread man. I had him in my hand, and uh, I got a needle out of my mother's sewing kit. And I got a Kleenex out of the tissue box, and I put it together, and he had a cape. And uh, when I took the cape off him, I just kind of left the needle in the floor. And uh, the, uh, the next day, we had this thing called a futon. Uh, I'll look up what that is in case no if in case none of y'all know what a futon is. How do you spell that again? Futon. 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 Hmm. It looked kind of like this. Here, let me. It looked like this, see? So it's got the wood, it turns into a bed. So, turns into, oh, oh, turns into a bed. I jump off the arm of the futon and I land directly on the needle. Directly on the needle. It went right into my foot. And, uh, you know, how old was I again? When did Shrek 2 come out again? 2000 what? 2000. Okay, so I was I was 6. I was 6. So I jumped off. The needle went in my foot, but not through it. it didn't go it didn't touch the bone. It was just in the very like like a little bit underneath my big toe. You know that that spot on your foot that's right before the arch. And it was in my right foot. So I, I screamed. I was just screaming bloody murder. I just remember being in so much pain. My mom and my sisters, they took me out to the back porch. I'm surprised that the neighbors didn't call 911. Basically, my mom couldn't get a hold of it because I was bleeding so much. So she had to get some nail clippers. You know, toenail clippers. And then... She pulled it out with the toenail clippers. And it was so painful. So painful. I was limping for a good few days because it pretty much bruised the bottom of my foot. The idea of a needle being, like, pretty far in your foot. Okay, let's pretend that uh, this is my foot. This is the needle. It was, like, it was pretty deep. It was pretty deep. Mm. Hurt. But also, when I was a kid, I used to get a lot of glass stuck in my foot. This started when I was in the second grade. I was cursed to uh, be having glass on my foot all the time. And when I was in second grade, we lived in this place called the Lakewood House. It was a uh, a shitty apartment. Shitty apartment, too expensive. It's now basically a retirement home because a lot of old people live there. I loved, I loved it there. It was neat, but uh, mm. one night my grandmother dropped a glass in the kitchen. I ran in there to see what was going on, and I, 
Stepped on the glass. Stepped on all the broken glass. I got a little piece. Stuck. Right? My left foot. I didn't know it was stuck in there. I know I felt the pain. I didn't know it was in there. I went a week without checking my foot. A week. Just thinking that maybe I just had a rock in my shoe. No. I, I, <laughs> I looked in my shoe all day trying to figure out what the hell the rock was. And then when I took off my sock that night, I felt something rough catch uh, some of the strings. I looked at my foot. There it was. Piece of glass. So I screamed to my sister, Laura, come help me. Come help me. I'm, I'm, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. There's glass. She finally gets it out after, I, again, I screamed. I, I was a weak kid, of course, but, I mean, glass in your foot. It, it was scary. It was really scary. Another time, when I got glass in my foot, was the premiere of Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> Oddly enough, I remember the premiere episode of Phineas and Ferb because I got glass in my foot. <laughs> I had dropped my favorite coffee mug that I used to drink out of all the time, and uh, I dropped it off my bed, and it hit the corner of my bed frame, and it just exploded everywhere. And I used to wear black Crocs everywhere I went inside the house, mainly. But I used to wear black Crocs, and I used to have little charms on them and stuff that were like cars and shit, you know? Well, you know... What do you do when you break glass? You put it on your shoes. I didn't check the Crocs before I put them on. There was a, like a splinter, like that, in the very tip of my Crocs. When I put my toe in there, when I put my toe, when I put my foot in the Crocs, it was like, <clears throat> it just hit it. And it was like, it was like an icicle just stuck right in the tip of my right big toe. And I was like, oh, 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 you know? And it was just awful. It was just awful. So I, I, I mean, it wasn't in there deep, but it, it was in there deep enough to make it bleed. So I, I pulled it out and I was like, oh. Scream, scream like you did, no. I don't want to scream right now, but it, it just, it was fucking horrible. But then I got to watch Phineas and Ferb, so I, <laughs> I felt a little bit better. Another time when I got glass in my foot. <laughs> Another time when I got glass in my foot. Whew. We moved back to the old house, and, uh... Oh boy. Nana dropped another glass. <laughs> and by then, everyone knew I was cursed. Everyone knew I was cursed. They said, Don't, Nick, don't go in there. And I went in there anyway. <laughs> I didn't listen. I didn't listen. I got glass on my foot again. And I remember finally getting it out of my foot. It was in there for a long time. I, I almost feel like my foot almost healed over it. Anyway, I remember picking it out when the uh, premiere of Yo Gabba Gabba was on. Ashton and I were watching like all the new shows that were coming on, and Yo Gabba Gabba was one of them. We're like, what the fuck is this? It looks interesting. So we, we turned it on, and I was like, oh, fuck, the glass is almost out of my foot. I got to get it out. <laughs> and I, I grabbed the tweezers. I picked and picked and picked until I finally got it out. And then it, it took, like, the entire time that show was on. And then that's why I remember the first episode of Yo Gabba Gabba. <laughs> Can you tell us a, a story about your scrub daddy? No. <laughs> Yo, 
Yo, nut scratch a scratch -a. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my crazy tales. I see that we get 11 people in here and then they dip. Because they're probably like, Animal Crossing! And then uh, they see this mug. And they're just like, it's not Animal Crossing. Mm. Stay salty. Uh, let me guess, your father got glass in his feet on the same day as Premier's Thomas Tank Engine? Uh, no. Uh, let's see, let me think about something else. I can tell you why I don't believe in God. Ooh. All right. So I... My parents divorced when I was in first grade. And I remember the day very much. I uh, was watching Look Who's Talking 3. I was so excited about that movie coming out. And um, I, was, I had recorded it on the TV. That was the first time I ever recorded something. And I was so excited... I was watching, watching Look Who's Talking 3, and uh, then this woman came down and sat beside me and asked me if I knew what had happened to my father. My father, uh, unbeknownst to me, had beaten my sister Laura with a flip-flop after she flipped him off and then smacked him in the face. Keep in mind, my father is not Laura's father. So anyway, my dad and my mom got divorced. I was in the first grade on that day. And my dad went crazy. When I was in the second grade, still, we're talking, I was about six or seven, maybe six, probably six. My dad got a girlfriend named Tammy. And she had a son named Logan. And I think she had a daughter named Sarah. Logan was a shitty person. He would bite himself till he had whelps growing on his arm. He would cut himself, would kill animals like squirrels. He was a sociopath, psychopath even. When my dad was dating her, he really messed up his Really bad. My dad had this problem with his neck ever since he left the National Guard. Where his rotator disc, I think it is, in his neck, one of the discs of his spine in his neck would fuck up. And he would have to take this medicine that made him just completely insane. My dad, whenever I would stay out there, he would wake me up at 4 in the morning and we would play this game called Trash. Or garbage. I can't remember if it was trash or garbage. It's basically like Yahtzee, pretty much. Yahtzee without the cup. And he had this gazebo in his backyard where it was like the frame of a gazebo. Like, it didn't have the cover on it. It was just the frame of one. Foundation of a gazebo. And inside of it was a birdbath, like, thing. And... He had a crystal on it, and he had pictures of the family in there. And he also had a bush with a face on it. Like, you know those decorations you can put on trees? Like a face? Um, he had an eye on it, and, and, you know, eyes and a nose. And he said, that's George Bush. And then he put an eye on the rock. He said, that's a rock. I rock. I rack. My dad would also wake me up at four to go look outside through his telescope that he had bought. To look for aliens, because he had watched War, War of the Worlds from 2005, and he thought the world was going to end. He would tell me constantly, Nicholas, the world is going to end. We are going to die tonight. Tonight. Imagine telling that to a second grade. That you are going to die tonight. The aliens are coming to kill you. And then my mother, when I was in the second grade, also got RSD, which is a nerve disease. Imagine, if you will, anytime someone touched your arm. It felt like a thousand. It 
Not a million electrified hot needles stabbing you repeatedly, and there is no cure for it. The only thing you can do is slightly numb it. No medication in the world can heal her. My mother still has this disease. It's spreading. RSD is something that can just completely ruin your life. My mother had a decent paying job and it's completely ruined her life. And she's never been the same since. RSD can caramelize your bones. And also, my mother can't give blood anymore. Her blood is toxic. But she has MRSA. If someone were to... I don't know. If someone were to, like, bite her and drink her blood, they would also get MRSA. They would get very, very sick. And... The reason why I don't believe in God is because why would my why would a god let my father suffer the way he did? Why would a god let my mother continue to suffer even though she is blindly devoted to him? My mother's a good person. She doesn't do a lot of bad. But she is just tortured day in day out by this disease. If there really is a god, He's not listening to me. So that's why I live with my mom and my grandmother. I am their caretaker. And this is the only time I get to myself. Where I get to just be happy. Just be myself and connect with people. And that's why I like streaming. I like talking to you guys. It gives me a sense of purpose. Other than just being a caretaker. What was, your, what was the medication that made your father so unstable? I don't remember. Like I said, I was in second grade. So, I don't remember. But it happened again recently. So, I... My dad had an uncle named Uncle Tom. I know that's... Sounds racist, but his real name was Tom, and he was his uncle, so he called him Uncle Tom. And he lived in California. Uncle Tom was a photographer. Well, they had to move Uncle Tom out of California. He was dying. Uncle Tom was dying. So they moved him down to Arkansas, and during that whole moving process, my father messed up his neck again. And... He went crazier than the last time. He said that the second he got home, he sat down in his recliner and he felt something crawling on him. Something was crawling on him. He stood up and looked at his chair and there were spiders just crawling out of it. He was having a hallucination. He was that much in pain. He was hallucinating. He picks up his recliner throws it out into his front yard, and lights it on fire. He's had this recliner for 15 years. Just burns it. And then he, uh, he takes, like, he starts painting every room in the house. He starts painting every room in the house white. Because he starts believing that he is the white man. He starts wearing a white jumpsuit, and he forced me to wear one. I just remember that it was, a, it was 4th of July, and I had to wear a white jumpsuit to light fireworks, and I looked like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in this white jumpsuit. It was a painting jumpsuit. He made anyone who walked into his house wear jumpsuit. Thankfully, he got proper help. To, you know, whatever the fuck was wrong with him. My father is mildly schizophrenic. I should probably have mentioned that. My father, he says shit that I know he doesn't mean. At all. 
That's why I doubt that he actually supports Trump. He keeps saying that he does. My father thought that Trump was giving away those yard signs for free. For free. Just thought he would. I said, Dad, those yard signs are like 60 bucks. I'm not giving those things away for free. And he doubted me. My dad is one of those people who thinks he's smarter than everyone in the room. When in reality, he just has a high school diploma. He never went to college. He, um, uh, second he got out of high school, went to National Guard, and then dropped out of that. But yeah, my dad, he is mildly schizophrenic, and he sees shit. So let me, fa let me flash back to, remember Tammy? Remember Tammy, my, uh, my dad's uh, girlfriend that had the two kids? One day, one day my dad, okay, I was in the car with my dad, Tammy, Logan, and me. So we were in my dad's car. Tammy and dad were making out in the front seat, and Logan turns to me. He's like, you want to do something fun? I'm like, yeah? He then wraps his hands around my neck, and he holds me down. He was going to kill me. Right behind my father. He was going to kill me. He was choking me. To see the life drain from my eyes. I kicked him in the dick. So hard I heard a pop. I was screaming. He was evil. He was evil. I'll never forget that moment. When someone's choking you, it's the scariest thing. It's the scariest thing you can think of. It's like your world around you is just turning black. And all you can see is a tiny bit of your vision as it blurs. It's just so scary. It was so scary. I'm sure you guys, uh, long-time fans, would remember my cousin Taylor, the one who died from bone cancer, who was also autistic. When I told Taylor about that story, the next time he saw Logan, he grabbed a metal baseball bat and hit him right in the fucking dick. That's why Taylor's always in my heart. I miss him every day. I miss Taylor every day. Why is your life so tragic? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. You're probably wondering about my teeth. See these two teeth right here? Uh, you see how they're kind of crooked? They're kind of like bent inward. Do you wish death upon Logan? I think he's already dead. I think he killed himself. Pretty sure he did. He's a shitty person. He killed animals. Little animals because it made him feel good. I'm, I'm pretty sure he killed himself. I think I remember hearing about that. And if not, probably in prison. Um, so, my teeth are kind of crooked. My two front teeth. One day, I was at the park with Ashton. My cousin, Ashton. She was... We were on the slide. I went down the slide first, and I turned around really fast to see Ashton go down the slide, and she kicked me right in the fucking teeth. And, uh, it knocked out my two front teeth right here. And, uh, well, it, uh, <laughs> but yeah. 
If only your dad went to college, none of this stuff would have happened. My dad, like I said, is uh, not all there. I doubt that he could have done college. My dad was m just mentally abused as a kid by his mother. She is just a control freak. She didn't even show him any sense of love. When he turned 15, or maybe when he was 10, I, I think I remember he said it was elementary school when he had to take on all the house responsibilities. They had this cat. My dad loved this cat. And my aunt loved her, too. When the cat died, my dad and my aunt wanted to have a funeral for it. My grandma said, eh, fuck it, and just threw it in the trash. Threw it in the trash. Can you imagine? What? Turn to your family pet and wonder if your grandmother was so evil to just throw them away without a ceremony or a proper burial, how you would feel. I feel bad for my dad. And I always have. My dad grew up. He was in kindergarten when segregation was going on in schools. And, you know, Little Rock was the main place where all that was happening. The Little Rock Nine. My, my other grandmother, my Nana, went to school with the Little Rock Nine. She was there. She hated all of these racists that were just trying to prevent change from happening because they felt inferior to black people. That's all racism is. It's an inferiority complex that clouds the mind. It's crazy. Back to my dad. My dad believes to this very day that there are black people that just buy Dodge Chargers and <laughs> they wreck them, get the insurance money, and buy another Dodge Charger. And that they taint the windows, and then they speed. And he's just, he's so racist. My father is so racist. He claims to not be racist, but then he uses the N-word freely. So I meant nothing. And I always felt dirty. He's used the N-word, hard R, around me since I was a little boy. As long as I can remember, my father has always said it. And I've always just felt dirty that he said it. it made me upset. Because I had friends that were black. I had friends that were black that I could never bring around him. When I was in high school, I even had a black girlfriend. That I even took to my senior prom. I could never show him those pictures. I could never sh tell him about her. Because I was scared that he would call her that to her face. I was just... I felt so bad. You know? And it's not because my father hates black people. He just grew up in such a toxic place. His hatred for other races, it's not even hatred. He's just, he was just taught that way. And that's the shitty thing about it. My father was programmed that way by his parents. My dad tries to be good. Dad is a good guy. It's just... He's knocking futz. <laughs> you feel me? And I always told myself, if there's one thing I want to be, if I ever, ever become a father, it's to never be like my dad. To never really tell my kids anything bad until they're old enough to comprehend it better. To keep them away from horrible experiences. Would be something I would do to just make my kids happy and that's all I would want
Why are you guys listening to me? Humor me. How do you guys even watch me? I'm actually kind of curious. What about me brings you here? What is it? I'm curious. Especially to the new people who just showed up. What do you like about me? I'm waiting. Let me go ahead and open up the chat so I can see. Because you're the best. Okay, that's one. Because you have the best content and your personality. That's a good one. Your humor, your personality, and it's because you're no one else, no one else is like you. Yeah. That's what I've always been told. I'm one of a kind. I fuel my humor through my tragedy. Because within good humor is tragedy. It's the reason why I am the way I am. Tragedy has completely shaped me into what I am. And the thing is, I couldn't, I couldn't even imagine myself any other way. You know? That's how people always say, if you had a time machine, what would you do? I would go back to where I was the happiest in my life. The years of 2009 through 2011 were the happiest years of my life. I just remember having so much fun those, those years. So much stuff happened. Is there anything we can do to cheer you up? Yeah. Donate to Road Dogs. Links in the description. Donate to Road Dogs. That would cheer me up. Knowing that those dogs are okay would cheer me up a lot. Five dollars or more. Donate to Road Dog. That's all I'm asking. If you don't know how to donate to Road Dogs, here, I'll put it up on the screen right now. Look, here's Road Dogs. Right? You click the Donate button. And you, you click on whatever charity you want. I would prefer you do this one at the very top, and so would they. You click Donate Now, and you do the stuff. Like that. It's just that simple. Those dogs need your money more than I do. Those dogs need actual help. And that means the world to me. That you guys would be so kind to just donate to them. How did your dad get schizophrenia? Many people believe that schizophrenia is caused by cat feces. Some virus or parasite that's in cat's shit can get inside of your head. Isn't that crazy? So keep in mind, my dad had a cat. Why well, I don't want to get a cat. <laughs> Oddly enough, my mother is deathly allergic to cats, by the way. Deathly. Same with peanuts. And um, it was just something I never thought of until I watched a... Uh, an episode of Game Theory where he talked about how schizophrenia can be linked with owning a cat. And I was just completely, you know, amazed. I even did some research myself. This stream got dark, man. Is this even the same channel? Hold on, hold on. What was this? It's like... I want you because why not? Your anger from your older days really hooked me, and I stayed. And I'll try to be here till the end. Appreciate you, Dave. I appreciate all of you for being here. Oh, camera just got blurry. I do appreciate you all for being here. I really do. This is really the highlights of my week when I get to stream. And it just makes me happy. 
I found your channel when I was 16. I was watching some rant videos before I found you about TT MC B37. Oh, Teen Titans Go Minecraft Boy 37. I thought your rants were good, but I don't know about ranting videos anymore. Yeah. Rants are It's like with DeviantArt content. DeviantArt content has uh really died out. If you look up DeviantArt rant right now, it's just a bunch of furries outing each other. It's no longer about calling out pedophiles. At the height of my career, I called out 133 different pedophiles, and I reported them to the FBI. What are these big channels doing now? They're just bitching. It's nothing more than a bitch fight. A bitch boy slap fight. Over some stupid petty shit. Oh, they traced an OC of mine. Oh, boo-hoo. There are actual children on that website that are getting groomed by the hour by these stupid, fetish-obsessed pieces of shit. And you're gonna tell me that your petty drama with stupid bullshit is more important than saving those kids from trauma. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't. Never have. Probably never will. They sit there with their smug avatars. Crossing their arms, pointing and laughing at some little kid's art who's probably a victim of someone grooming them, someone hurting them in their lives mentally, sexually abusing them, and that's why they go on DeviantArt to vent. The thing is, these furries don't want to fix the problem. Because they are the problem. They are the fucking problem. If you fix the problem, they no longer have prey. So fucking dumb. I think I remember what age I was. I was 9 in 26... You were 9 in 2016, Dave? What the fuck? Nine in 2016. You were old enough to be the kid that Harambe threw. What the fuck? Anyway, a dumb kid, and still sort of am, I found, an, I found anger funny. When I got a video on my recommendations, I clicked on it, and it was the best thing that happened to you. Well, thank you. But still, nine and watching me? Dude, I said some shit. Horrible shit. I don't know, man. Oh no, man! You probably shouldn't have been watching me. That's your parents' fault. I need a drink. Hopefully, you guys don't mind. Fireball is so fucking good. It's a nice burn. A nice, slow burn. All right. Let's see. What else? What else do you guys want to know? I got all kinds of stories locked in my head. Hey, look, Coppa didn't exist, and I didn't think it changed me for the worst. True. Cheers. Cheers to that, friend. Damn. What's your favorite video game? Hmm. That's a tricky one. At the moment, my favorite video game, like, series is the Fallout series. I love every single Fallout game. 
including 76. I don't play it as much as I used to before I started streaming, but it was fun. I liked 76. I met a whole bunch of really interesting people. A lot of really interesting people. And I don't talk to you anymore. Because I'm not on my Xbox. You know how it be. I have this fucking itch on my back. Here's how I found your channel. The year was also 2016, and I was 16. At the time, I was really obsessed with drama and watching a video, and uh, then I saw you in the recommendations section, so I clicked on it. So, hmm, that's actually kind of interesting. So, a lot of the people who see my videos, they get recommended them. Hmm, neat. Does your family have tragic stories of their own? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're cursed. Which is why I like the movie The Ritual so much. The idea of a god, a goddess even, that just preys on your depression makes you immortal. Fucking scary. Would you like to tell these stories? I don't know all of them. I feel like I wouldn't do them justice. <sighs> Let me think. Let me think of some more for me. Let me just let me just tell you. Let me tell you exactly what made me want to do DA Ram. What made me want to save kids? What made me want to protect the innocent? I was taken advantage of on DeviantArt. I was groomed by these vor pony people because I just wanted friends. Just wanted to make friends. And it's just... It was shit. It was so shitty. There was no one there to protect me from them. I didn't know it was bad. Just thought it was normal. They told me it was cute. They told me it was okay. They told me it was normal. They lied to me so they could masturbate to the free porn I would make for them. And then names junkies decided to find my old art and then try to victim shame me because I was getting more views than he was. It was more of a petty Jealousy on his part that I was so popular and he just wanted to take me out. And when I called him on it, I was swarmed with these little peons. Little piss ants that would defend him. And when I finally started fighting back, is when this pussy said I was harassing him. He sent a message to my mother in the middle of the night telling her how I was bullying a transgender kid and I was going to make them kill themselves. He was trying to either get me grounded or get me arrested. I also believe he sent the same thing to my college at the time. He's full of shit. Like, for real. Full of shit. And any time I try to bring up that story, he squirms. He wants to forget about the times where he was a 
fucking fag. A stupid fucking faggot. I don't get it. I don't get it why he got to get away with that. And that I was treated like the villain for standing up to the bullshit they were pulling on me. And that's why I that's why I got so depressed. I felt like everyone was against me. Solar, Jack, all of them against me. That's why I left. I wanted them all to burn in the fire that they laid their own beds in. The DeviantArt fandom that I had created was not the same as it was. It was filled with people it was filled with people who just wanted blood. Filled with people who were just there for cringe. They weren't there to save anymore. They were there to harm. They were there to bully. They weren't there to bully the pedophiles. They were there to bully the kids who just couldn't draw. Like Solar and Deviant Cringe. Just bullying kids who just couldn't draw well. It was just some petty smug argument bullshit. They'd use some smug voice and a cross arm avatar to tell you how intelligent they were by using big words. Ugh. It was just pathetic. It was pathetic, and I hated it. I fucking hated it. I hated the idea that all these people who I helped bring up in my community suddenly turned daggers on me. Like I was fucking Caesar. But I never will understand. I'll never understand how anyone could think I was ever the bad guy in that situation. I will never understand. But there's one thing that that always taught me. Don't get too comfortable. Don't trust people the way you usually would. Especially YouTubers. YouTubers aren't your friend. They're there to completely blindside you. They will sell your mother's pussy for a buffalo nickel. They don't love you. They don't care about you. They're not there to support you when you're depressed, when you're getting stalked by a fucking freak who's trying to dox you. Nah. Nah, Sway. They're gonna dig up your old art. And they're gonna sit there with their arms crossed and they're gonna act all smug at the idea of you being weak. That's what pisses me off the most. And it should piss you off too. It's just funny, you know? All of these people, all of them, they tried to forget me. They've tried. Many times. Many times to forget me. I'm still here, baby. Chicken. So fucking stupid. I'm so sick of furries, dude. <sighs> they offer nothing to society but just stupid bullshit. Stupid dumb drama about some... Uh, they stole the design for my tail. Who the fuck cares? There are actual, like, stories from FurryCon. Where there's a back room called the Petting Zoo. Where they take little kids and they fuck them right there in the convention. They fuck dogs there. They fuck cats there. They fuck each other there. Huge orgies. And a lot of them are positive. HIV positive, that is. 
They're bug chasers. I don't like furries. I don't. I really don't. They've always pissed me off. Because they hurt animals. That's why I helped with Kiro and the zoo crew on Kiwi Farms. I helped with that. I felt good when they were all finally arrested. The idea of that little baby black lab that was just taped to a log in the middle of the forest and brutally mouthfucked by some dude in his tiny cock and then left for dead, taped to a log. That shit pissed me off. And what were all of these commentary channels doing? Defending the people who did such a thing. Defending them. That's why. They're nothing. They are nothing. They're just stupid fucking cowards. Who can't stand up behind an opinion. That's why they put that warning sign on the front of their videos. Telling you, I don't believe this shit. They don't stand by anything they say in their fucking shitty videos. All these highly animated, well-drawn character sprites don't mean shit. You see that warning on someone's video, don't harass somebody? It's because they're too pussy. Too pussy to stand up and say some shit. It shows you how little manhood they have in them. How little confidence they have in their own words. Where they have to give you a warning. You want to know why they tell you not to harass somebody? Nine times out of ten, it's some little kid. Some little kid that they're just poking at little kid that they're just poking at. Not somebody, not somebody who's grooming people. Not somebody who's begging, just begging, begging people to draw them free porn. Begging them. Because that's what these fetish faggots do. They get in there, they act all sweet, they butter you up, talking to you about how great your art is. Next thing you know, they're making requests. What happens next? They spam you with requests after request after request after request. There is no end to their obsessive pulse of disorder. They have to have their porn and they have to have it in a certain way. And that's the scariest part about it. There's a fetish for everything. And there's all kinds of children on DeviantArt who are going to be victims every minute. Doesn't matter what they're drawing. Someone, somewhere, is going to see it and ask. And that's the sour truth. The hardest pill to swallow. There is no saving DeviantArt. There is no saving these children because there is an infinite number of pedophile monsters lurking around every corner. And there is no rehabilitation for pedophiles, not one bit. They always, always relapse. They always do. Even if they're chemically castrated, even if their balls and penis are gone, they will find a way. They will find a way to hurt some fucking kid. That's the shit that pisses me off the most. These pedophiles that go after the people who can't fight for themselves. Same with furries. They go after animals, little puppies, who can't fight for themselves. It's pussy shit. It's what it is. Pedophiles are nothing but pussy coward little pieces of shit. Little betas. I fucking mean that.
But yeah, and, and YouTube doesn't want you talking about pedophiles because they defend them. Let's defend the pedophiles, they say. Same with Twitter. Same with Twitter. They just allow pedophiles on their app that say that they're into four-year-olds. The thing with pedophilia is, it's not a sexuality. It's a disease. A disease that needs to be completely eradicated from the face of the earth. Because with homosexuality, you can like men. With lesbians, you can like women. Bisexual, who the fuck cares? That's a sexuality. That is a type you have. You like men, you like women, you like both. It doesn't matter. But with pedophilia, it's not a sexuality. Children are not a sexuality. Children grow up. Four years old is not a sexuality. It is an age. An age that passes. What do these people do when that age passes? They usually hurt them. They usually, uh, usually hurt them, kill them, or do some way to silence them so they don't tell anyone what happened. Why do I feel like he's going to become a superhero or a supervillain? I like to tell the line. People always said that, uh, even in the Names Junkies video he made about me, he compared my speech to Hitler. You know, Godwin's Law, I already, already, won, already won the conversation at that point. If you compare someone to Hitler on the internet, your argument is completely invalid. Yeah, he uh, he uh, imposed one of my one of my speeches about how I hate fetish artists over a clip of Hitler screaming to the to the uh, the Germans because he has no real argument. No real argument. All of these people, back in the day, their arguments were nothing more than the same point. They had none. Dennis, if you have the clips, why don't you just play them? Let me see. Let me check my Google Drive. Do I still have that clip? I think I still have that. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. I just found something really... I just found something really fun. You guys want to watch a video from one of my old, old haters with me? I know you do. Now keep in mind, this video was, I think, made in 17, 2017, so it's a little dated. So, <laughs> great. It's great. It was made by Flameboy237. He's not around anymore, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna do it live. I'm going to turn off the, the webcam, that way you can see it better. Alright? Alright, so back in the day, Flameboy used to go by the name Valak Chains. Then he changed it. <laughs> Flameboy was someone who was obsessed with inflation art. Inflation fetish, which is the fetish of being inflated up like a balloon, whether it be with water, honey, lava, anything, air, anything. <laughs> uh, Flameboy was the kind of person who, if he hated you, he would follow everyone else who hated you. Just to be like, see, I'm part of the gang. If I remember correctly, Name Junkies even told me that he found him annoying as fuck. And he was like, ugh. Let's watch. Let's watch it. 
<laughs> yeah, he was really into Mortal Kombat at the time. Let's so let's just take a look at all of his shit. He has a link to his. Oh fuck! The webcam fell. <laughs> fuck. He has a link to his YouTube channel on his shit. Why? It goes on Google. Alright, now what do you think is going to show up? What do you think is going to show up? Because when I was a big DeviantArt YouTuber, I requested that no one ever draw porn of me. Because I was against it. It was against everything that I preached. So they didn't. No one ever drew, like, straight up porn of me. And I'm still grateful for that, that people actually listened. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, it's so, so sexual. It is so sexual. The, oh man, I can't even show that on YouTube, holy shit. Oh, I think I'm gonna get an age restriction for how sexual that is. Ah, holy shit. Oh wow. God, I forgot what that twink looked like. The DeviantArt Ranter fan base, everybody. <laughs> uh, of course, they made me the top. That's joke art. <laughs> yeah, that's joke art. It's not even real. It's not real. <laughs> you're t <laughs> you're really gonna make the make <laughs> make the claim that this was real? They called me Tefindomithif. <laughs> Call me daddy. <laughs> what the fuck? Some of these aren't even up anymore. That one's not even up anymore. Oh yeah, the Dharamaka. Oh. Oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> that was a thumbnail for a shittily made fanfiction someone made. Why is Keemstar's face here? <laughs> so I have had a huge weight on my shoulder that has been bugging the hell out of me lately, and it has something to do with DeviantArt fetishes. He's 16, but he sounds like a 12-year-old. And I feel I really need to bring it to attention, because I feel like most people who talk about fetishes on DeviantArt don't know what they're saying. I bet just for the title alone, people are gonna mass dislike this video and try to censor every one of my points. No one ever watched it. Because apparently, defending fetishes on DeviantArt now makes you a bad person. Well, at least according to this guy. Oh wow, the fandom menace, you mean the fat leprechaun, right? Legit, okay, so Flameboy used to call me the fat leprechaun. So I went to Walmart on St. Patrick's Day and I bought this shirt specifically to post this fucking picture as an own. Like, legit. Ugh. <laughs> Did we just talk about how fucking Chad I am? I went to Walmart, spent money on a fucking joke image. If you are someone who just ignores problems, then you're a shitty person. Although I don't think that should be a problem. Dislikes or not, I'm still gonna share my real opinions. Who cares about the dislike button? I've seen enough DeviantArt rant videos to know how much people hate fetishes on DeviantArt. And honestly, I feel like everybody's hate towards fetishes is just their biased opinions towards their favorite DeviantArt ranters rather than their actual opinions. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's break that down. So, he thinks that people are just sheep. Sheep for believing that people grooming children into drawing free porn for them is a bad thing! Mm. Man, Flameboy, when you word it like that, it sure sounds a little bit more like a shit take, Flameboy.
Pirates? Maybe I'm wrong, although most of their fans are a bunch of mindless sheep, so it's not that far-fetched. Oh yeah, most definitely. A, a lot! A lot of the DeviantArt fandom, it was just a bunch of people who would dance to anything. Remember that? They'll dance to anything. I made that point in my uh, Deviant Cringe Menace Files video. You know what other point I made? That there would be people making thousands of videos about Deviant Cringe. Man, look who predicted that. Me. Guess what happened? Thousands of videos were made saying the same shit I did in 2016. I watched one the other night. He made a bunch of good points, but guess what? They were mine. But back on topic. The main thing I see DeviantArt ranters complaining about the most is that apparently DeviantArt doesn't have a fetish category. Oh, were they wrong. Okay. Now listen to this. Oh, all right. Back in the day, for all of you newbies who didn't really know who I was when I was the fandom, the reason why I had to change my name is that a white supremacist group also adopted the name, and I didn't want to be associated with a whole bunch of neo-Nazis. So I called myself Super Menace, and now I'm Menace Plays. Hopefully that explains why he said the fandom menace. All right. <clears throat> all right, so back in the day, I had a petition to make fetish art harder to find on DeviantArt, or easier, depending on how old you were. I wanted um, certain, certain tags, like inflation, vor, that shit, to be marked immediately as mature content, or put aside to a separate part of the site. And when I talked to the people who made DeviantArt, they said that it could be done, but they just don't want to fucking do it because they were about to sell the site next year to Wix. And... Again, I, I was like, fuck. <laughs> and then also I got uh, stalked by this crazy fucking person, right? He was just fucking crazy. I talked about him uh, a few, like, and I think a whole bunch of streams back. But he, he was fucking crazy. I used to sleep with a hammer and, uh, in my bed because I was afraid I was going to have to smash someone's fucking skull in sometime when I woke up in the middle of the night. That's how paranoid I was about this person who was stalking me. But anyway... You see, the main reason I wanted to make this video is because not many people know of this, but DeviantArt does have a fetish category. Oh fuck, hold on. Look at these sexy pictures. But DeviantArt does have a fetish category. Crazy hair day. Oh, wow. I like how he tried to use these as a gotcha. How are you gonna... Nicole? <laughs> how are you gonna try to use my face as a gotcha? That was, that was, uh, face app. Now, ah, wait there, Valak. Where's your proof? Right here. All right. Let's completely debunk his argument within 2 minutes and 24 seconds into the video. The fetish portrait that he is talking about is for BDSM, or, you know, nudes. But like, you know, tasteful nudes. Look right here, photography. People in portraits, fetish portraits, BDSM. Tasteful nudes. That's what that is. Fetish means taboo portraits. That's what that means, dude! <laughs> That's what that means! See? Artistic photo, photo, photographic portraiture. Uh, a theme of sexual desire and sexual stuff with alternative lifestyles. It's not about vor. It's not about inflation. It's just about tasteful nudes! Like, what the fuck? How could someone be so goddamn stupid and then act all smug? I don't get it.
This video is 11 minutes and 12 seconds long, and we have already debunked his point 100% within 2 minutes and 24 seconds. Let's continue, though. I want to hear what else he has to say. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the fetish category that everybody has been wanting. And if you're wondering, yes, this has always been here, and yet no one has seemed to realize its existence. I have actually shown this to my friends and other people before, and many of them were shocked to find out that DeviantArt actually has a fetish category. Hell, I don't even think that many of the mainstream DeviantArt ranters know this exists. Except for one. Yeah, I bet most of you thought I was the one that discovered this. But no, it is in fact, the one, the only, the Leprechaun King him- <laughs> What the fuck did he do to my face? I'm like a JPEG! ...himself, the Phantom Menace. And of course, I had already changed my channel! <laughs> God, remember when I had 18,000 subscribers on that channel? Jeez! What is it now, 14,000? It's not Phantom Menace. A while ago, Nick posted a screenshot to his Twitter to show everybody that DeviantArt does, in fact- He doesn't even have the screenshot. He could be making this shit up. Have a fetish category. And personally, I kind of have a problem with that. Da, wait there, Valak. He showed everybody that the fetish category does exist. What's the problem? Simple. He posted it on Twitter. And again, What's the problem? The problem is that he has 18,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel, but under a thousand followers on his Twitter. God, I miss my Twitter. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> you wanna know something really funny? <laughs> Whenever I live streamed on my other channel, <laughs> you wanna know how many people showed up? <laughs> 10, 21, that's it. 14,000 people, 21 showed up, dab! Fake fans, fake fans, not a lot of people were real. But also, I said that when I left the fucking community, you dumb piece of shit! Why would I have made a video about it? I had already left the community. See the pro- that was basically my, uh, everyone else was on the elevator and I was leaving, so I just farted. That was my fart on the elevator, that tweet was. Problem yet? Not everybody is going to be on Twitter, and most of Nick's fans don't even follow him on Twitter. Just look at the people who follow him. Do you actually think that this guy- Yeah, Social Blade followed me. Isn't that epic that Social Blade followed me? <laughs> I was actually kind of hyped, not gonna lie. I was pretty hyped. This person or that. <laughs> what? Hey, follow him. A... Do you actually think that this... this person was actually really neat. I remember OJ Delicious. This guy, this person or that. This person was also neat. I liked them. Except for their Twitter thing. Holy fuck, I just looked up. Yeah, actually watched his shitty channel? Of course not. Every day in my notifications, someone is following me, and it's almost never one of my fans or someone that I know. It's usually someone trying to draw more attention to their business, YouTube channel, or a certain product. If Nick really wanted to bring this to attention, he would have posted a video to his channel. But I didn't because I had already left the community. What would be the point of me actually dropping a bombshell like that? Oh wait, because it wasn't even a bombshell! <laughs> I did it because I wanted to see, I wanted to see who would talk about it. Because it isn't, it would be a temporary fix to the fetish issue. It wouldn't be a long-term one, of course, because, like, that's for other shit. That's a different category, you know? I mean, seriously, if he would have brought this to attention on his YouTube channel, this would have probably made a big change. So big that DeviantArt ranters and fetish artists would stop fighting with each other. Uh, no, they wouldn't. <laughs> no, no, they wouldn't. Actually, DeviantArt renters and fetish artists kind of have stopped fighting with each other. Now they just go after mentally challenged people, like Anthony, someone who isn't even doing anything, who didn't deserve any kind of hate. But no, Nick failed to do the one decent thing that would have easily solved this whole situation and fixed everybody's problems with DeviantArt fetishes. He's so mad about ranters because I called his ass out so many times. Because he was so 
thirsty for Toriel from Undertale. He wanted to see her get inflated. Like, legit. He was a weird little boy. Weird little boy. He was 16 and he was looking at all this porn. A lot of which were children characters, might I add. So, kind of sus. Nick was holding a big wild card that honestly would have won my respect towards him. No, it wouldn't have. No, it wouldn't have. Because it's not a point. <laughs> it was bait. It was bait. I wanted to see you would make a video about it. But then he doesn't use it, which honestly makes no sense. But enough about Nicky Boy and his Twitter. Most of you may be asking, where do I find this fetish category? Well, that's easy. First, upload a beautiful piece of artwork. Then after you put your title, description, tags, and all that- Buddha ass poopy. That bullshit. Scroll down to select category. <laughs> Again! <laughs> okay, look at all the different other ones here. Wait, did you make a rant on him? No, on second minutes though, I did debate him on his shit, but my recording software didn't record it, and YouTube didn't upload a copy of it. I won that debate, but for some reason, again, the VCR recording thing for YouTube just fucked up that day and didn't record it, and I was really pissed off. And he was asking me where it went, I said, it just, it vanished! I don't have it! I wish I did, because I won! But, uh, Flame Boy was someone I met on the Second Menace, which was my old, old livestream thing, which I actually have a link to on my uh, main page here if you want to watch some of my old, old, old live streams. But do be aware, I say a lot of shit in them. Uh, a lot of crazy shit. And, uh, they're also not good. You see the quality you're viewing right now? Yeah, I didn't have this all the time. I didn't always have this quality and swagger, as you see before you. I was a shitty live streamer. I used to have a shitty setup, but look at this setup. I could, <laughs> you know? I mean, I couldn't do this back in the day. I, I mean... <laughs> Half the time the chat wasn't even visible. Click on photography. Photography. People in port but hold on, hold on. But let's go back through. Let's oh, go shit. back through those Scroll other categories. Down to select category. All right. Artistic nude, body art, classic portraits, cosplay, emotionative, emotionative uh, portraits, expressive portraits, fashion portraits, fetish portraits, glamour portraits, infants and children, other, pinup, self portraits or selfies, spontaneous portraits or weddings. Now. Think about it. Think. Do you think that fetishes belong in this category? I'll give you a minute. Dun 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 The answer's no. Click on photography people in portraits, and of course, fetish portraits. And there's my proof that DeviantArt does, in fact, have a fetish category. And it even comes with its own description. Fetish portraits. He even read it, and it didn't click! Artistic photography, portraits centered around the theme of sexual desire and sexuality, as well as alternative lifestyles. Oh, This category would be photography and portraits that would be taboo for modern art. They would even classify as modern art, or possible like a schoolgirl outfit. You know what I mean? Artistic photographic portraiture centered around a theme of sexual desire and sexuality as well. It'd be like Belle Delphine. Belle Delphine is a fetish portrait. You feel me? Belle Delphine's Instagram would be classified as a fetish portrait. It's a niche taboo that would not fly in the mainstream. That's what... That's what this is. That's what this is. well as alternative lifestyles. 
Oh, and if you don't believe me, try it out yourself. I can 100% guarantee that you will see I am right. I mean, seriously. You're going to sleep? Alright, man. I hope you have a good night. We're about to end soon, anyway. Sleep. the word deviant is in the name. What more proof do you need? <laughs> That's not... <laughs> oh, and don't start saying... Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Yeah, why don't they? Why shouldn't we say that, Flame Boy? Why shouldn't we say... Someone think of the children. Children matter. Children are like sponges. They soak up everything in their environment. Why shouldn't we think of them? Hmm. Let's hear his, let's hear his, his answer. That SJW bullshit doesn't apply here. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, a non-answer. Okay. Uh, think of the children don't apply here. DeviantArt is not a website for kids, and- 80% of the people on DA are under the age of 13, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? If you're someone who lets your kids on this website without any supervision, then you have yourself to blame for being a bad parent. Like your parents. Dude? If his parents- If his parents- saw what he was favoriting? No more computer. So for all you DeviantArt ranters out there, stop policing fetish artists and pretending you're better than them. He was just salty because we called him out. We caught him red-handed with his hand in his fucking pants. Like, that's, that's why Flameboy was so salty in this video. You could just hear him just dripping with salt. Because you're not. And furthermore, stop pretending that fetish art is against the rules when it's clearly not. And yes, fetishes can be considered a form of art. Although, you wouldn't know that because your DeviantArt randers aren't professional art critics. I never claimed to be a professional art critic. I claimed to be a menace. A menace, bitch! I ain't no critic. I ain't here to tell you how to get better at drawing your little circle bellies. I'm here to tell you to grow the fuck up. Snap. You can't just remove one entire form of art just because you don't like it personally. It's not. He would probably like lolly porn. This sounds like an argument for lolly porn. You can't just remove an entire subcategory because you don't like it personally. Shut the fuck up, it's still morally wrong. That's like me saying I don't like gaming videos and then going out of my way to remove gaming videos. I don't even know what the fuck can say to that. It just doesn't work like that. And besides, what room do you have to say that these fetish artists are bad people? What have they done besides drawing fetish art that really deserves them to be talked about? A lot of them groom children. Groom children. To draw them porn. That is what they do. Like, legit. The only fetish artist I can think of that actually did something bad is Alexis is cute. Oh yeah. Oh hey, there's Zip Zap. He's the guy who made fun of my dead cousin. and He made fun of the video where I cried about my dead cousin because it was a vent video. Where I was just remembering how awesome my cousin was. Yeah, such a hero. Such a great example. Oh, wait, I know why he's in this video, because he hated me. And that's why Flame Boy put him here. By the way, the person he's talking about was someone who made porn, inflation porn, mind you, which is something that Flame Boy would have masturbated to, of people in real life that they knew. People from their school. This person would make sexual images depicting people that he knew in real life. And he also did role plays pretending to be these people. Now, do I think that it's a good idea that Zip Zap called him out? Fuck yeah! Do I think it's a good idea that Zip Zap's, 
you know, not a shitty person. I don't really know him now, but back in the day, he was shit. He was a shitty ass person. But other than that, none of these fetish artists are doing anything remotely bad to deserve being bullied and harassed by multiple people. Like Pedophiles deserved it. Like, Jesus Christ, guys, give them a fucking break. How can you judge these people only by their artwork when you don't even know who they are as a person? Do you just... You can just hear that he's just salty. He's salty. Just completely salty, dude. Like, he's just salty. That's the whole, that's whole reason why this video was made. You DeviantArt ranters act like their accounts represent them as the bad people you think they are. Well, most do. While constantly demonizing them. You guys honestly don't know jack shit about these people. For all we know, these people could be doing something really important with their lives other than drawing fetish art. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know if he's doing anything. Uh, I don't know if he's doing anything, man. I don't think he's doing anything good for society, man. Just saying, I don't... I think obsessing over people's stomachs is a little fucking gay, man. Really fucking cringe, man. Man. Hmm, don't you want to go to the, the pregnant factory? Hmm, is that where they're curing cancer, I hear? Is that where they're solving world hunger? Hmm, I wonder what goes on in the pregnant factory. How can someone factorize pregnancy? Is it just a conveyor belt filled with pregnant people? Also, look at this image and tell me it's not fucking funny. Right? She's inside this person's stomach and she has a sniper rifle. But the scope... The scope... <laughs> Look where the scope is! Look where the scope is! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look where the scope is! It wouldn't work! The scope wouldn't work! You would just be firing blindly! Ah, <sighs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. These people there, are, they're doing great things for society, of course! So stop pretending that you know so much about these people when you ob- We know exactly enough as what- about as much as they put out there. Legit! They usually put out a lot of personal information about themselves. Primarily what gets their dick hard. Which, to be honest, that's the quickest way to a man's heart. Obviously don't. As a little boy. Oh fuck, I forgot he liked Onision. I don't like them, and I never will. And you know something, I'm glad that they're losing their views and fans. If you deviant art ranters want to whine and complain about meaningless shit online, then go on another website like Tumblr. <laughs> Tumblr. <laughs> I'm on Tumblr. God. Here's my Instagram, by the way. If you guys want to follow me, I post all kinds of neat shit. Mainly just me. This is Max, by the way. Max, he's a you know, good boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I'm getting tired, y'all. <laughs> this was an odd stream. I must say, this stream was pretty odd. You know what, I'm, I hope that you guys at least had a good time. Especially the new peeps who showed up right in the middle of my weird, traumatic flashbacks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I much appreciated that uh, you guys sticked around to the, to the very end. Uh, come back on Wednesday and we'll uh, do something. <laughs> we'll do something.
We've gone on for four and a half hours. Go ahead and take your leave and have a good one. You too, Dave. You too. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for showing up tonight. It really means a lot to me. I hope to see you again on Wednesday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.